Good morning, how are you? Welcome to Sun Quarter. It's still our birthday week, first birthday week. Oh, for a week our show lined up for you today. It's incredible. Would you like to have a look at today's menu before we go any further? I've got so much to tell you in this opening. Here, here we go, coming up today. Uh, sewing quarter birthday week. Eight o'clock, we've got Beth Studley Fabrics. Uh, nine o'clock, Joe Carter's Mermaids, which you've all been waiting for. Ten o'clock, a super storage and tools. Uh, and then at 11 o'clock, we've got the Macowers Kitty Collection with Joe Carter. Right, are you ready? So at eight o'clock, we've got Beth Studley Fabrics. Brand new to us today. Uh, oh, now, uh, now January, this, uh, this uh, launched in January. Isn't that beautiful? Now, you might have seen a couple of her fabrics in um, Joe's um, Rabbit Hour yesterday, but I've got a whole new collection this hour to go through. Then look! How cute is she? Right now, first time we've had Organza. Uh, just soak it, based on Lucy. Now, look at the hair at the back, as though she's got rippled water from the hair. No, ripple hair from the water. I get it right. Well, no, normally water ripples, doesn't it? Anyway, how cute is she? We've got our two bundles for you to do the mermaid later. Then in the tool out, well, you're actually going to see it in Joe's hour first. It was meant to be in my tool out. You know where Mandy Shaw's on, and she uses those medical pliers to stuff her. Well, this is coming up now. It's a needle um, gripper. And it's also a stuffer. Uh, I'll show you that later. I'll show you that later. It's, we're going to be using it in Joe's hour. It's meant to be in my tool lab. It's coming up in Joe's hour. And then the last hour, you are going to love this brand new Macawa collection, right? Pussycats. It's all to do with the pussycats. Um, now, you remember we had another pussycat collection about this time. Oh, no. Yeah, about this time last year. About this time last year. And um, it sold out. It sold out within days, didn't it? Well, we've got more. There's a panel. There's fabrics, all sorts of things. Right, now, okay, first of all, uh, to get in touch, for you to get in touch, uh, if you'd like to go to our website, the best way to do it is on our web chat, www.sewingquarter.com. And then literally, uh, what you do is you click on Watch Today's Show. You do need to log in. It doesn't cost you any money to log in, but you do need to log in. Um, and you see the little uh, square there, it says Message to Studio. You just click on there, you start typing your message, right? But what, what happens is, is at your end, it lets you type and type, oh, type and type and type away. But at, um, at our end, it cuts off after 140 cent uh, centimetres, 140 characters. Uh, it goes through to producer Hannah upstairs, and then it comes through, she sends it through to me at the desk here. While we're there, the products from today's show, now all of yesterday's products have disappeared already, look. Um, as I introduce things today, they will appear there. You can click on them and pop them in your basket. Also, at the top of the page, where the live screen is, there's another box to the right-hand side there, where it's Sorbet Wool Felt Bundle, eight sheets for £7.49. If you want that, you click on that, you put it in your basket. You can check out your baskets as many times as you like during the day for one P and P of £2.95 standard. Um, but the important thing is, if you definitely want it, you definitely need to check out, because especially with Joe Carter toys and, and premieres. I've got premieres all four hours of premieres, because it's birthday week, because it's birthday week. You can send us an email as well. If you want to send in a picture or a longer message, we do have an email address, which is studio at sewingquarter.com. Studio at sewingquarter.com. Now I've got so many other things to tell you about. Shall we start off with every single day of the birthday week up until the 7th, we have a competition. All you have to do to be put into that competition, this is the daily competition, is buy something, right? If you buy one thing, your name goes in the hat once. If you buy two things, your name goes in twice. If you buy 10 things, your name goes in 10 times. No limit at all. And every day at 11 o'clock, the winner from yesterday will be announced. So at 11 o'clock today, I'll announce Vicky's winner from yesterday. This is today's prize. Uh, look at this, beautiful. There's a book, there's a cutting board, there's scissors, there's fabric and everything. Oh, oh, now I've not, I'll show you, I'll sh I'm gonna, well, no, I'll show you now. Look, I'm sorry, ruin the display. Gorgeous book, scissors. This is nice. Oh, hang on, so you're not even, there you go, look. So it's got like a, a, a cutting mat on that side, look. Uh, they're beautiful, oh, that's lovely. That, you know, I can't buy that, that's in the prize. That's in the prize. So that, the scissors, the versatile nine patch, which is the book we love, we love that book. And fabric, 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 right? So all you need to do, I'll tidy it up in a minute. All you need to do to, to be in with the chance of winning that is buy something. There it is, look, simply purchase today. So um, now, the next thing is, oh, 
I was about to say, you also, everybody who buys something, there's only one per person, remember, not one per order, one per person. You get this, get this tin, it's a free gift from us. It's called the Little Pin Tin, and it's full of jelly beans, right? None of ours have got jelly beans in anymore. No, there's not one with jelly beans in here. Yours will have jelly beans in. But of course, uh, once you've eaten the jelly beans, you can then use it as a pin tin. That's completely free. That's completely free. A little gift from us to you. I've got another competition to tell you about, though. I've got the weekly competition to tell you about. Now, the details, the details will go... Uh, there'll be an advert in the first break about this, but I'll just tell you very quickly. If you spend over £30 during the week, right? So if you spend over £30... Now, it doesn't matter if you've won any of the daily competitions, you still go in. If you've spent over £30, you automatically go in to the last draw, the weekly draw, and look at the prize. Look at that prize. Oh, look, a sewing machine! So that's worth over £700, that prize. Now, all the terms and conditions are on the website for that one. They're all on the website for that one. So that's... So just by spending £30 over the week, you'll go... You'll, fantastic, isn't it? Now, this, I'm not supposed to tell you about this, but I'm going to. Right? Every day of the birthday week, we've got a so special. Remember on the first day, we had... Uh, oh, that fantastic um, spool rack and everything. And then Vix yesterday had that lovely bag, didn't she? Well, today... I'm not supposed to show you this till 9 o'clock. At some point around 9 o'clock, it'll either be just before 9 o'clock or just after 9 o'clock. I'm not, not supposed to tell you. Ours is just before 9 o'clock today but I'm not supposed to tell you. We haven't had this in since Christmas. Was it Christmas? Before Christmas. Oh, no, the beginning of Christmas, wasn't it? The Advent Christmas. It only got shown once because it completely and utterly sold out. Now we're thinking Mother's Day. We're thinking Easter. We're thinking Valentine's. It's a rose gold coloured scissor gift set. So you get the big scissors, the heron scissors and the thimble all in there. Now, can I just tell you, I might tell you more about it, no, well, I will tell you more about it at nine o'clock, but, well, I did a bit of a Google Yahoo Bing thing earlier. The price we're going to, I couldn't find it at that price. There was one person, well, I'm not going to tell you, I'll tell you at nine o'clock when we're doing it. Uh, was that, now, is that everything? So special, weekly prize, daily prize, tin, how to get in touch, Done it all, done it all, done it all. Right, oh, this grill is so gorgeous. This is coming up at 11 o'clock, right? Isn't it? It's just fantastic. Uh, do, you know, uh, do you know what? Oh, uh, no, you're not looking at it yet. No, don't, look, don't look at it yet. Right. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, no, it's back, it's back, it's back. It's all right, it's all right, because I'd taken one of these fabrics over there, the Beth Dudley fabrics over there, hadn't I? And I, it's been put back. Where shall I start? Oh, here, 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 let's start here. These are all brand new. Now, I'll just tell you exactly what I'm doing so you don't get confused. Well, no, I don't get confused. <laughs> it's mainly for me. All of the fabrics I'm going to show you now, they're all brand new, they're all premieres, they're all Beth Dudley, they're all gorgeous, and they're all available by the half metre, right? But what we've done is, if you're watching it and you're thinking, oh, John, I love those. I wouldn't mind a bundle of those. I've got a mega bundle where you can get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, six meters. You'd get half a meter of each of those in the mega bundle. And then they've done, the, they've done two smaller bundles where you get one, two, three meters in each bundle. One is the reds and the pinks, and one is the blues and the greens. So if you want, I've got all those coming up. All those, ignore these for now. Ignore those for the time being. So should we start? Now, are these in? I haven't had a chance to go through these. Ooh, they, well, I'll just go, I'll just go, I'll go in the order, I'll go in the order that they are here, because they're all gorgeous, they're all fabulous. Uh, let me just tell you, Beth Studley, British. Now, you can meet Beth Studley if you're going to go to Festival of Quilts in August, she'll be there. And if you're going to the Knitting and Stitching Show in Olympia, she's going to be there. So, I'm not going to be there with her. I'm going to be there on the. I'm going to be there on the Saturday. If you want to know, uh, I, I'm, I'll be there on the Saturday. Hannah's going on the. What day are you going? On? Oh, she hasn't worked. Out. She's not going work quite. She's just going to um, to uh, visit. Right. These are all. She works with Macau Fabrics. These are all Macau Fabrics. So you know the quality. You know they're 100% cotton. You know they're machine washable. You know they're good quilting quality. They're all from the Sundance collection. 
This is nice. Now, I used to go, when I worked in films, I was, used to be invited to the Sundance Film Festival. Yeah, not so anymore. Not so anymore, sadly. So this is Beth Studley, Baloo Abstract Flowers, 5 99 for half a metre. It's lovely, isn't it? I love the blues in there. Okay, five nights time. Now, I've talked about quilting. Normally, it's the other way around, isn't it? I talk about clothes, and Hannah talks about quilting and home furnishing. She's thinking that the cloth kits box jacket would look lovely in that. The reversible one. Yeah, nice. And they could maybe do the other side, one, one of Beth's other fabrics. Okay, so that's five ninety nine for half a metre. It's beautiful, isn't it? Now, I've got the same fabric, but in a different colourway. So that was just called blue, was it, that one? Sorry, yeah. Yeah. Oh! <gasps> Now, the thing about Beth Studley is she loves putting pink, red, orange, and purple together. They're her favorite color combination. That shows that one off, doesn't it? Beth Studley. Oh, it's just called orange, that one. I love it. I love those jackety, like the thistly leaves between the flowers. Oh, here we go. Hannah's getting all poetic. Yes, cornflower. Carnations. No, you're thinking of carnations. Yeah. Have cornflowers got, I don't think cornflowers got jagged edges, so they've got pointy edges, I think. Anyway, they're lovely, aren't they? I love the fact that every so often one's got a yellow centre. See what I mean? Nice. <gasps> nice. By the way, if you're new to us, we, uh, the price you see there is in increments of half a metre, right? So if you go to the website, oh, now, 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 you know it's been fixed, it's been fixed, it's been fixed. Before, if you wanted more than a, a, um, one and a half units, you couldn't buy it on the website. You can now, you can buy as much as you want on the website. It, yeah, it works, it works. Uh, you can either ring 0800 112 4433 to speak to the call centre, or you can go onto the website, click on your basket. Remember, though, one unit is half a metre. So if you're thinking I'm buying a metre, you need to put two units in. But you can buy multiple by, and oh, oh, it's beautiful, 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 okay? Uh, there was something else I was gonna tell you about buying a fabric. It'll come to me. Right, this is rather lovely. This is turquoise, but look at the, look at the intricacy of these flowers. Look at the little leaves, all the leaves, uh, not leaves, petals. Petals. Just beautiful, all emanating from the centre. Do what? Okay. Uh, Timothy sees a sprinkler throwing out little droplets of water, but it's called turquoise petal. What do you see? Oh, a bathroom blind, making a bathroom blind. I thought you meant, I thought she could look at this and see a bathroom blind. Yes. Oh, I have to tell you, Hannah was 15 minutes late coming out of her house this morning. I was only getting a little bit stressed. And then she gets in the car and I was like, uh, window down. I said, did you have a curry last night, Hannah? No, she says, I just cut a, got a, cut a garlic. I, I think it was still in her pocket, right? Because she's got a cold, she can't smell anything at the moment. <laughs> My eyes were watering by the time we got to work. And then everyone's walked in through that, we've got a big, the office is huge. Everyone's opened the door and gone, <gasps> oh! Look at this. Is this the ivory one? I like this. This is gorgeous. Look at this. Oh, look how delicate those petals are. I love that. And then the, the centre is a kind of pinky. Let me have put my glasses on. Is it pinky? Oh, yeah. It's like um, a salmony pink. And then that lovely, very, very, very pale, almost like olive, I'd say. Or um, what colour would you call the background colour? I'd say it was like um, almost an ochre event. Yeah, a washed out ochre, a washed out ochre. A bit like me, a washed out television presenter. Da, 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 da. Okay, moving on. These, thank you, by the way, for all your fantastic messages about our birthday, birthday show the other day. The sew off seems to have gone down a treat. I, I won, by the way, if you weren't watching. Me and Lucy. Team. Juicy. Yep, Team Juicy one. Uh, this is so pretty. Look at this one. This is Beth Studley Yellow Dashes. Oh, let me look. Oh, look at that. The reason, you might not see it on your telly, but the petals are made out of little, little dashes. They're just coming in closer to show you. So you've got like an emerald green dot in the middle, and then each of the five petals are made up of three little dashes. Look. Oh, there you go. You can see there. Oh, I don't know, I can't see them on, I can't see that monitor. Isn't it gorgeous? 
Right now, um, Hannah is getting over excited. Look back. Oh, in fact, I think I've got that. Not today. No, 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 no. No, I'm prepping ahead, Hannah. I've got the Debbie Von Crozer Guard blah blah uh, bag. That, that's not a name. <laughs> the bag boutique book. The bag boutique. Debbie Von Glacier. That's not Glacier. I love this one. You know, lovely Debbie who makes all those gorgeous books. We're thinking the weekend bag in all these fabrics. <gasps> this, I love this colour. Oh, sniffy. These are pink dashes and the, and the other dashes and the blue. Do oh, they're more limited. If you are liking these, these are more limited than the other patterns. Beth Dudley pink dashes, half a metre. Five pounds and 99 pence. They're gorgeous, aren't they? Oh, got a nice message from Tina. There we go. Always love Beth's fabrics. There you go. Uh, she has great patterns too. Glad you're stocking this. Thank you, Tina. Well, maybe. She has patterns, doesn't she? Oh, oh she does this gorgeous. Was that quilt made out of this? It was, wasn't it? Uh, uh, the circular quilt was hanging on a washing line. It was beautiful. Thank you, Tina, for that. These are nice. Here we go. This one's dashes in turquoise, I'm presuming. Yeah. Beth Studley. Grabla Crozier, thank you very much indeed. Not Glazier. <laughs> uh, Beth Studley, turquoise dashes. Thank you, Chris. Look, isn't that lovely? You see, I'm seeing, uh, you know, the, the dress, the shirt, waist dress that um, Jennifer Mills, uh, Jennifer Taylor did the other day. That's who I'm seeing, that dress made out of this. Gorgeous. Right, now the next one, I know I'm not allowed favourites, but it is one of my favourites. Oh, so I've gone very sniffy, I don't know why. I'll open this one completely, I love this one. Now, this one is the only, oh look, oh look, 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 look from a distance first of all. Oh, this is the only one, only colourway of this uh, print. Oh, I love it. Look. Oh. Ivory, so ivory is obviously the background colour. Large floral, fa oh, is Lorraine watching? I wonder if Lorraine's watching. Lorraine would love this one. That, she, might, she might be on a train back. She's been in um, Kent learning how to basket make. 5.99 for half a metre. Oh. That's lovely, isn't it? Absolutely gorgeous. Okay. Oh, I do, I love that one. Okay, moving on. Now, the next one is very much of a blender one, I'd say. Is it called Spots? I'll wait and see, I'll wait and see what it's called. Oh, oh, looky, looky, look, look. Isn't that lovely? Flower spots. I knew it had spot in the title somewhere. Flower spots. Ivory flower spots. Now, again, this has got the ochre. This has got two of my favourite colours in it. It's got the ochre and it's got the pink. Oh, I'm just, sorry. I'm, I'm going way ahead of myself. Oh, look. No, no, they've got petals. They look like they're falling petals. So you've got the little star flowers. Uh, one, uh, one's in the, um, like, uh, I want to say not Bougainvillea colour. And then one's in the uh, ochre. And then there's like almost like a snowstorm going on in the background. They're pretty, very, oh, that's lovely. Imagine that all cut up as, um, as your blender or something like that. Gorgeous. Moving on. Now, I've got the same pattern now, but in the orange. One of Beth Dudley's favourite colours. So, she, like I say, she's going to be at Festival Quilts and she's going to be at um, Knitting and the Stitching Show. The what, sorry? Yeah, we've got well, the pictures on her website. You can meet her. She looks like... Um, she looks a bit to me like an American actress who used to be a friend of Madonna's. 
What's her name? She was in Will and Grace as well at one point. Anyway, it could come to me. Um, this is nice. So this is the Beth Studley orange flower spot. Sarah ba 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 Bernhardt. 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 Sarah Bernhardt. Something like that, isn't she called? No, no, no. That's her name. That's her name. I'm sure that's her name. Something. Five pounds and 99 pence. Beth Sudley, orange flower spot. Right now, I've got, I'm down to my last print already. I'm down to my last print already. These have been beautiful, haven't they? Oh, look at the, uh, oh, yeah I'll, do, yeah, I'll do this one first. I'll do this one first. Look at this. I think that is gorgeous. Uh, the flowers, right, are all made, I don't know why I'm doing this. The flowers are all made of tiny dots, look. Isn't that lovely? Hannah's seeing a skirt. I'm seeing the next colourway, the blue colourway that's coming up next. I'm seeing Hannah's Jaeger one piece in the next colour. That's lovely though, isn't it? Our son, that's messaging. Uh, Sonia's enjoying the birthday week so much and she's looking forward to the Today Show. So my Sonia. Anything could happen. Isn't that lovely? Isn't that lovely? Right, and I've also got that. Now, I don't know if they call it blue or they call it, call it turquoise for the last one. Blue from the Sundance collection, Beth Studley. Oh, oh isn't that? Now, I think that one, I think this one. I would always, I would always, always, always go for pink normally, but look at that. I love that. That looks like, you see, I, I, I say this all the time. If Gucci or uh, Chanel or Jaeger were to use that fabric, imagine how much they'd charge. I just think that's lovely. Now, I'm seeing, I'm seeing bl blouse, actually, but you know what I mean? You could use it for so many things, couldn't you? I love that one. Love, 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 love. Right, that's all the individual fabrics. Now, I'll do the mega bundle first. Hang on, I'll get it. There we go. Don't get them muddled up now, John. There we go, there we go, there we go. So this is where you get the mega bundle. You can get half a metre of every single one of those fabrics I've just shown you. So if you want to have a taster or a ta can you imagine all of that in a quilt? Can you imagine all of those in a quilt together? They are all, Beth Dudley, they're from the Sundance, because they are. Uh, now, I don't know if it's, there might be more in the actual big collection. This is all we've got. This is what we have chosen for you. Um, wouldn't they look gorgeous in a quilt? They would look stuck all together. And I'm, maybe you could mix linears and, in fact, she does, doesn't she? Um, because I looked at one of her quilts online this morning, and it said that it was mixed with linear print and with spectrum solids. So it worked beautifully. <gasps> Aren't they gorgeous? Uh, Nora says, morning, John. What a fantastic birthday week so far. Fabulous fabrics. Lots of love, Nora. Aren't they, Nora? They're stunning, aren't they? Oh, my word, my word. Already, right, there's less than 20 of those bundles. Already, so many people have checked out already. There's less than 20 of those bundles already. I'm not surprised. I was just getting some Spectrum Solids out to have, to have a look at it next to you, but you know what? I would go, I don't know which colour I'd go with, a teal maybe. I just think they're gorgeous. Half a metre of every single one of the 12 fabrics that we've chosen for you. She's called Debbie Von Double Glaziers in our house, but the book is terrific. Happy birthday all at same quarter. That's Mo. How are you, Mo, my love? How are you? Oh, do you know what? Have another look, because they're beautiful. What a fantastic idea as well. So, so, so rather than you ringing up 12 times, you get half a metre of each of them. Now, I do need to warn you, if you buy two bundles, they won't be joined together. Do you know what I mean? So if you do buy two bundles, you'll get two half metres of this one. You know, you'll get two half metres of all of them, basically. Do you know what I mean? You won't get the... So if you want a metre of each of them, you need to buy them separately, because you'll still get a metre, but it'll be cut into the two half metres. <gasps> No, it's like, our, it's like our equivalent of a fat quarter bundle, isn't it, really? Well, you get two fat quarters of each, aren't you? 
if, you know what? Sometimes that's nice because it's like when you do a jelly roll. Sometimes you think, oh, I want more than two. Because in a jelly roll, you normally get two of each fabric, don't you? Two strips of each fabric. Sometimes you think, oh, we should have more of that. You, this is the equivalent of two fat quarters of each. No. When you all check out, there's less than 10. Already, it's only 27 minutes past eight. Yes, now also, maybe you don't want the whole mega bundle. Maybe you, can I go for pink first? Yeah, I don't know if they've called it pink, but what we've also done is created two, oh yes, sunrise, and what's that one called then? Dusk. So this is sunrise. So again, you don't have to have all of the fabrics. This one adjusts the kind of pinks and orange range from the same collection, same collection, 35 pounds and 49 pence. So you, this one, you get three meters, half a meter of each of those. Maybe your color scheme in your house is more, or the room that you'd want to make this for, is more pinky, more warm. There they are, there's the still look. They're beautiful, aren't they? Gorgeous. Okay, so that's sunrise, and I've also got dusk. Have a look. Oh, I think, do you know what? I'd have to go for the mega bundle myself. That's just my personal opinion. Yeah, yeah, normally, normally I'd be going pink everywhere. Oh, look at that. Do you know what? If I was just going to go for one of the three meter bundles, I think I'd go for the blue one. That's very unlike me, isn't it? Well, look, no, look, because it's got ochre. It's got that gorgeous, that's in both of them. My favorite one's in both of them. Love these, love these two. I'm not missing out the others, but you know what I mean? They are, that is a gorgeous bundle. Right, while you're checking all those out, got another birthday treat, a birthday bundle coming up. So, come with me and you'll see this. Whoa, it's a better bundle than I thought. Right, you know how much I love the 680 sewing machine. Absolutely adore the 680 sewing machine. It's got so much going for it. I'm not going to go into every single thing now, but uh, Joe Carter bought one. Lucy got one. I'm going to get one. Definitely going to get one. They, it is just, when I did my twirls the other day for the show the other day, the, it was just so easy to use. Just fantastic, fantastic, fantastic. Now, it always sells on a, every day. It sells for £999, right? But today, for your £919, you get all of this for free. All of this for free. This is a hardback book. This is not one of your softback books, uh, paperback books. This is a hardback book. K Facets Bold Blooms, right? Beautiful, beautiful book. This is gorgeous. Look, oh, just open it. You see, it's the kind of book you want to open on a page, isn't it? In my last job, we used to have a lady called Glennis that used to send me uh, gifts, and she sent me one day, she sent me a book stand. And I was thinking, I don't really know what I need that for. Anyway, I've got this fabulous book about Indian fashion in the back bedroom, and now I have it open on a different page. It's a big book. I'd have the same with this. So you get that for free, that for free. You also get, before you go there, let me show you this. Look. Kf fat quarter pack, one, two, three, four, five, six fat quarters. One of the newer fat quarters, that, because look, there's the um, Delft in green. There's the, I don't know if I've seen that colour before. Because it's magenta normally, that's like a dark, I've never seen that one before. It's called, the fat quarter pack, so if you want to look it up, it's called the fall. For, the fall, as in... Autumn 2017. Beautiful, isn't it? Oh, that one as well. And then also, you get this as well. Some wadding. Now, the wadding, I'm going to show you the still in a second. It's the same wadding. They've just repackaged. This is their new label. We haven't done that. Ryan Tex have done that. You can see there, Ryan Tex have done that. So, should we see a still of the whole bundle? Look, look at that. It's either, you can look at it as a saving of £58.97. Or you can see it as, because if you're going to buy the sewing machine anyway, a gift of £58.97. Oh, 
Now remember, poster packaging on that is still only two pounds and 95 pence. If you missed out now, oh yeah, we had the 680 bundle, uh, get, get birthday bundle, didn't we, on the birthday. And they sold out within minutes. We had twice as many made and they sold out as well. Um, so if you want this one, 999, and then you get, how much is it? 58 pounds and 97 pound, pence worth of goodies. There's, there you go. That is fantastic. That's amazing. Also, the, um, what I must tell you as well, if you buy that, it's still only one p and of £2.95, right? For the whole day, if you buy the things as well. Just so you know, you'll get two deliveries. The, the fat quarters, the book, and the wadding will come from us. And the sewing machine will come directly from Elna. So you'll get two deliveries. But it's still only £2.95. Still only £2.95. Um, good morning, lovely John. Can't wait for tomorrow and all the stories of Tokyo. Yes, I know. Mandy Shaw's in tomorrow, and she's been in uh, Japan looking at the most incredible fact. If you follow her on Instagram, some amazing, amazing, amazing pictures. Right, where am I going now? Mega bundle. That's the one that's right the way over here. Oh, no. Right. Just so you know, there's the mega bundle there. This is the mega bundle where you get half a meter of each fabric, 71 pounds and 49 pence. Uh, I'm ever so sorry if you're watching later because these are gonna be gone by the end of the hour. You can still get them by the half meter. You can still buy the, the two um, sunrise and sunset. No, sunrise and dawn. No, sunrise and dusk, 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 dusk. But, but this one, I've only got eight left. I've only got eight left. Good morning, John. Fabulous shirt. My finger just slipped and I ordered the dust colour bundles by accident. Jill, that happens all the time, doesn't it? And then Julie says... Morning, John. I've had to lift the fabric embargo. <coughs> all right. Again, again. I've, I've pressed to the add basket button several times already. Are you in tomorrow? Yes, I'm in for four days now, Julie. Friday, Saturday, Sunday and Monday. So it's... Oh, Janet's messaging. Hello, John. Can't work out what pattern that is on your shirt. Please put me out of my misery. <laughs> you so sussed it now. It's lovely, isn't it? Right. Uh, please, please, please. If you, if, well, check out your baskets. I know it's very, I shouted a lot, a lot, but please, please, please be careful. Uh, there's only eight of those left. But as I say, you, if you want the whole range, you can still buy them by the half metre, or you can still buy the Sunrise and the Dusk bundle as well. But this bundle here is about to sell out. I haven't even introduced the solid. Well, how could you? I have to... Shut up. We're all friends here today. Um, and not just today, every day. <laughs> just, today. just today we're friends. Oh, now, yeah, wait till Monday and I'll be like, oh, yeah, we're we doing a sew-off. Right, let me put those in my basket. Yeah, I'll check out in a minute. Right, I've got two. They're not all solids. They're not all solids. This is fire. These are line, two linear textures and four. And now, they're made by the same people. They're by Macau, that um, Beth designed for. Okay, here we go. £22.49. So you get pumpkin and sunshine in linear, and you get Christmas red, maize, pumpkin, and Vienna orange in the spectrum solids. So there's your two linear prints. There's one. There's the other. And then these are the other. Christmas red. Oh, look. Christmas red, remember, just isn't for Christmas. It's for life. £22.49. Hmm? Yeah. 22 pounds and 49 pence. Shall we look at the blue one? Shall we look at the blue one? Here's the blue one. Half a meter of each one, remember? I feel like I'm smiling like Caroline Lindsay today for some reason. You don't know Caroline Lindsay, do you? She wears a bolero every day. 14.99, this one. Baby blue, cornflower, dark blue, marine blue, and ocean. They're lovely, aren't they? Macau solids, all of them. Uh, 
Aren't they lovely? You see, now I'm, I would be tempted to put the Sunrise bundle. Let me have a look. Oh, no, maybe. No, 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 no. I'll take that back. Let's see, I thought they were going to work. No, I wouldn't. Um, let me just try the Dusk bundle. There, that's nice. I, what I might do, if I did that, I might take out the ochre one at the end there. Oh, yeah, the, tr the trouble is, not the trouble is, there's, the likelihood is, right, you're not going to use all of those and all of those. Do you know what I mean? So if you were to use, because you're always going to have blue fabrics in your stash, aren't they? I'd definitely use that one. And I'd definitely use the cornflower. Oh, what's the matter with you today, Christopher? You're very noisy. Look. You see, I'd use those three, I think. Oh, yeah, these two colours I've taken out. Always going to be useful, aren't they? Anyway. OK. The, the, um, the sun, do you want me to sunrise, yeah? Yeah, OK. OK, off you go, then. Go. Stop chatting. Just go. Oh, let's see. Right, let's... Uh, Sunrise, clump, 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 clump. Thinks she's coming down the stairs by any chance. Uh, 35 pounds and 49 pence. These are gorgeous. Now, what it is, is these are three meters of fabric. Uh, you get six, the six pinky ones, aren't they? Six pinky, orangey ones. Now, what Beth Dudley says is she loves putting pink and orange together. And that, that, don't they blend together beautifully? Re I love, now I've always said that from the start, haven't I? I love pink and red, pink and orange, and red and orange together. Think of the um, fuchsia. You see, if Mother Nature puts them together, why can't we? People go, oh, blue and green should never be seen. Think of the ceanothus. Red and green should never be seen. Think of the holly bush. Do you know what I mean? There's all these things. We should take inspiration from nature, shouldn't we? Which is exactly what Beth's done here. They're all gorgeous floral prints, aren't they? But then the colours are fantastic. So in this bundle, you get three metres in total. Uh, half a metre of each, you've got the ivory flower spot, the ivory large floral, the orange abstract, the orange flower spot, the pink dashes and the pink dotty daisy. Aren't they lovely? £35.49. and pence. Three metres you get there. Three metres from the Sunrise Fabric Bundle. So what that is, it's only because the Mega Bundle's been so popular, we've done two of the... The pink, because some people like just the pinks, don't they? Some people like just the blues. So that one there is the pinks and the oranges, the Sunrise Collection. Morning. Can I ask, is the quilt behind John a lot for sale? Yes. I don't know what... Uh, there's a thing missing. There's the, the old, we're doing the bundle for this in the last hour at 11 o'clock. Joe's coming to do that at 11 o'clock. It's beautiful. Look at all these. Aren't these lovely? Are you coming to see? Now I want to come in close on what's up. I would say I want to see that they're all pussy cats. You see, look, look. Can we pack? Can you do a pan down? Are you all right with that, Michael? Come on, Ginger Mike. Look, pussy cat, pussy cat. Oh look, they're all friends. The birds and the mouse and the pussy cat. Anyway, we're moving on. So yes, we. I haven't got your name, I'm afraid. Uh, but we have got, we have got that. Now, our, I'm going to be honest with you right from the start, right? Right from the start, a couple of the fabrics we've used are slightly different to the ones there, but they're all from the same range. This, these, are all from a, all from a panel. They're all from a panel. I can't give too much away. I can't give, can't give too much away. Oh, what time is it? Oh, I've got so special coming up. Right, yes, we are. We are going across the rulers, but where's my so special gone? Yeah. Right, OK, now I've got some rulers. This Now, I'd just like to point out, I am not an expert on creative grid rulers. That's why we have our experts, like Lucy and everybody use them all the time. So when I do a show like this, I am not the expert. I can show you and I can tell you as much as I know about it. But I know last time I did rulers, some lady really, really didn't like what I'd done. And she wrote an awful lot of nasty things. But not on our website, not on our website, it's fine. But anyway, I've got some fantastic deals for you. 
I've lost you, Hannah. Hannah, 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 I haven't got you. Right, okay. Okay, yeah, I couldn't hear you at all. Like I just said, we've done bundles for you. We have done bundles for him. So, oh, look, you're making this at save £7.50. If you buy these two together today, you're going to save £7.50. This is the one that all of our designers say, if you've not got a creative grid ruler, get this one first. Get this one first. Because I know about this one, so you can't shout at me about this one. If you fold your fabric in half, normal uh, cotton fabric in half, this is wide enough to cut right the way across your fo fabric folded in half. It's got inch increments on it. The increments are in uh, black and in white. They've got the non-slip resin around the outside and spots here, you see. And you've got your 45 degree angle line there on the ruler. And is there a 60 degree down there? And then this ruler that comes with it, both together, 34 pounds and 48 pence, save seven pounds and 50 pence. Oh, there's the, there's the, the still there. The other, what size is the other one? Oh, that, I haven't said the size one. That's 12 and a half by six and a half, and that one's 24 and a half by six and a half. There you go. Fantastic, so save seven pounds 50. Oh, we're gonna do the stand. Oh, okay. Now, when, when did I do this? This was one of my um, favourite items from the birthday show, wasn't it? Yeah. Oh, okay. If you want this, you're going to have to be very, very quick, right? We had hundreds of them for the birthday. I'll tell you now, I've got 10 left. I've got 10 left, that's all. It's, I, I mean, do you know what? If, I, I wish I'd invented this. It's a piece of wood with five grooves in it. I mean, I ask you, but how brilliant. How brilliant. Yeah, I should have done that and gone to Dragon's Den with that, shouldn't I? Look. Simple, work, and all your rulers are nice and safe. I know this one's not in this auction, but look, all your rulers, lovely and safe kept there. All got little gaps between them. Doesn't matter the, si oh, doesn't matter the size of the ruler. Now I'm broken anything. I've just remembered, is that that one? Yeah, yeah and that's that one, there you go. Um, fantastic, and also, and also, and also, look. Right, I've also, so that's the, that's the big one. These tables, I need a bigger table. Don't I? That's the 50 centimetre wide, um, five. The, the, there was much less than 10 of them now. Check your baskets out. Check out your baskets if you've got those in. Right, or if you want the smaller version, there's this one. If you haven't got quite as much room in your workroom, you can still put the bigger rulers on it, look. You've only got four slots in this one for 6 99 and it measures 25 centimetres, this one. But look. Six pounds and 99 pence. You obviously don't get the rulers. You obviously don't get the rulers with it. That's so you get that. But it's got the, um, oh, it's got the rubber stoppers on the bottom, so it's not going to slide anywhere. I made Mike jump then, didn't I? Okay. 6.99. Now, look at the two rule. That's 6.99. How many of those have I got then? Oh, okay. Okay, 20. 20-something 20 got those. Hannah's just trying to add it up, but I thought I'd just rush, rush her along a little bit. 20-something of those I've got. Uh, now, look. This is a gorgeous little bundle, this one. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Right. So, these are log cabin trim tools. Now, do we have a date for that? Okay. Okay, now, it, uh, I'll, I'll find out. By the end of the show, I'll find out for you. you. Oh, now, do you know what? Do you know what? We have one lady who, whenever I say, oh, Hannah, what date was that? She emails in. I must remember the name. For some reason, I think it's... I, can't, I won't say her name because I get it wrong. Um, what day did we do the non-slip log cabin trim tool? It's brilliant if you're doing log cabin or um, courthouse steps. Oh, Lorraine's still in Dover. She's still in, doing her basket making in Dover. I'm presuming I'm getting one because she asked me what colour. If I had a basket, what colour would I want it in? So I presume she's making one for me. Oh, Hannah, Hannah's not even seen them and she said she'd want one. Oh, now, do you want it for downstairs or upstairs, Hannah? So it has to be grey. Oh. 
Anyway, at the pink upstairs, yellow downstairs. But I've got to be quick, got to be quick. So that's the 22.99. Now, this is cute. Look at this one. I've never seen this one before. This is a four inch log cabin trim tool. Same principle. The thing about these is they save so much time and energy. Um, I'm, not, I, I'm not even going to attempt to tell you how to do it. But it, you, you know what? It means your log cabin, your quarter steps are so precise by using this ruler. Now, if you, we've bundled them together. If you want the four inch and the eight inch, you can have them. They're called this cabin fever. Do you know, we get cabin fever in here sometimes, don't we? Oh, look, you're saving eight pounds. 34 pounds and 98 pence. Gotta be quick if I've got this and I've got the so special to do. Oh, Hannah's fine. She's laid back. It's that garlic. It's that garlic's kicked in, I think. Here's the still. About half the stock of this bundle is already in baskets. I think that's brilliant. If you love log cabins as much as I do, they're fantastic. But that's an eight inch block and that's a four inch block. I'd love, you know, like Shelley's had Clint, Shelley's Clint has built her a log cabin in the garden. So it's going to become her, her she shed, her workroom and everything. I'd like one like hers in my, down the side of my garden there. So in the sunset, you could sit in there and have a veranda and one of those swinging, a veranda, not an Amanda, a veranda. You, you know, they sit on those swing things with a canopy over the top. Very quickly now, this is a 120 degree triangle ruler. I'll just show you a, a sample of what you can make with it. We don't sell that fabric anymore, so you can't make that exact thing, but just to show you. Oh, no, it says six inch. Is that right? Is that the right one? We've got the right one. I haven't got my glasses, so I can't even see the leaflet. First of October, this was made. First of October, this was made. Oh, the finished thing there. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Okay, what date was it? First of October. If you're, oh, look, Rachel Ruler made this one. Rachel Ruler. Made, oh, look at all the different ones you can make. Nice. $24.99. The thing with Creative Grids is you do get all the instructions. There is a website you can go to and watch Rachel Ruler use them. Or, of course, you can just go to Loose. No, no, Rachel made them on her website. On, and then, yeah, yeah. Just butting in again. But if you, as I was going to say, if you watch our YouTube, then you can see Lucy doing it. Right, this is double wedding ring. I remember this. Look at this. Right? That, I mean, look at the ruler, first of all. That's that. Look. Now, a, du a double wedding ring takes forever to do. You'll see why. Look. Oh, where's, the other, where's that one gone then? Yeah, no, where's the sample of this one? That's what I meant. Oh, 37 pounds and 49 pence. I'll show you the back instead then. I'll show you the back instead. This is the wedding ring, double wedding ring, four piece set. So you've got the melon, you've got the center, and you've got the wedding ring template itself. What the melon is. So you've got unit A and B. I told you, I don't know anything about these. I don't know anything about these. I'm just doing what I'm told. Oh, yeah, there you go. There it is. There it is. There it is. Look. Look. It's incredible, isn't it? Okay. So now I've also got... So that was in there, was it? That was in the graphics then, right? This is the diamond wedding ring template, which is this one. Beautiful, isn't it? Now, I should know that one because I did that one with Lucy, didn't I? 22nd of, 22nd of November, 22nd of November. That's the non-slip diamond wedding ring templates. So now if you want that and that and that all together, we've done a bundle for you. Watch the, watch the saving, watch the saving, watch the saving. £12.50! So you get that, that, and that for £79.97. You're saving £12.50. These are good, aren't they, all these birthday bundles? Say that again. 
Right. Okay. They're all limited. They're all based, basically all that, 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 and that. They're all limited. They're all limited. There's the, there's the still of the three rulers. Okay. I'm back on set one. So special. Oh, it's time for the so special already. So special. Right. This is every day, either just before 9 o'clock, I didn't realise it was 9 o'clock, or just after 9 o'clock, we've got the So Special where we bring you something rather gorgeous. Oh, they're all gorgeous. Everything's gorgeous, though, isn't it, really? But we bring you something incredible. And this, Mother's Day, Easter, Valentine's Day, they, we had this. Uh, I didn't see it. Uh, it, was on one of, it was on one of Natasha's shows. Uh, and she showed this once, completely sold out. I'm sorry, I've got something in my... Um, Completely and utterly sold out. We've never had it back until now. Have a look. It's what a lovely gift. Whether you're self, I think self-gifting is the way to go, personally. Okay. Yeah. Um, the rose gold coloured scissor set. So you get the lovely shears. You get the heron. Because you know where that story comes from, don't you? And you get the thimble. Right, let's, let's have a look at this price. Up, oh, right, can I just say, first of all, if you Google, right, you can do it now, if you're quick, you can do it now, right, Google Millwood Rose Gold Scissor Gift Set, right, you'll see that for sale, almost £10 more than that elsewhere, I've, I, I'm not saying where, I'm not going to say where, but, but didn't, wasn't it Hannah, wasn't it, wasn't it? Uh, lots going in baskets, you do have to be careful, you've got to be careful, you need to check out on this, you need to check out. All of the so specials, and now the, th the idea was that they ordered so many so specials that we could show them during the week of the birthday. We won't have this one. This one's going to sell out. Th this one sold out last time we brought it to you. Twenty-two pounds and ninety-nine pence. Three pairs of scissors. Uh, two pairs of scissors, sorry, and the thimble. Two pairs of thimble and the uh, th two pairs of scissors and the thimble. I, uh, well, it should be easy for me to say, but it wasn't. Um, Look at the beautiful. Look at the way I've, I've just slid that off, just so you can see. I won't get them all. I won't get them all out. But look, how beautifully presented today. If you are giving as a gift, what a fantastic present! Twenty-two pounds and ninety-nine pence. Remember? Oh, and how many have I got left, percentage-wise? Oh, be careful, be careful. Over a quarter have gone. I mean, already checked out. Loads and loads and loads in baskets. Now, can I just tell you that uh, Janice has got those scissors. Uh, Joe Carter's mum, Helen, has got those scissors. £22.99. You get all three items, all three items for 20 And what a gorgeous little set. Oh, now, you know, Jay, this is his engagement present to Danny. Oh, it wasn't the engagement present. Wasn't it? Talking of engagement, did you see Vicky's diamond yesterday? She only got engaged last week. Blimey, that diamond was something special, wasn't it? Um, eight and a half inch dressmaker scissors. Uh, embroidery, stalk scissors, and a medium-sized thimble. Oh, I love those. Now, now also, yes, um, when we first brought these, a lot of people went, oh, that'll just be a novelty, that rose gold coloured scissors. Um, Helen, Joe's mum, says they're absolutely brilliant. I can only say to you, if you have got them in your basket, please check out. I know I can't say that enough times. It's very boring. But for new buyers, it, right, half the stock's gone now. Half the stock has gone now. It's taken from before Christmas to get them back in stock for you. And then when they came, they went, we'll have those. They're so special. £22.99. Two pairs of scissors and a thimble. I've taken the label off. I've taken the label off them. But that's the label. That's yours will come like that. I haven't ripped it, Chris. Look, Chris is pulling faces at me. I haven't ripped the label. Uh, please check out, as I was just saying, if you're new to us, you won't know this, but um, if you put it in your basket but don't check out, it's not yours until you do check out. So the only way of securing yours is by the ringing the call centre and saying, I definitely want them, or by checking out, which is why we have that brilliant service of check out as many times as you like uh, for one PMP. So just add them to your order. £22.99. pence. They're really, really good quality. Fantastic quality Millwood scissors. Two pairs of scissors and a thimble. Um, there's only a third left already. Two thirds have now been sold. 
Two, I told you, I told you, I told you. We did have, they, they, like I was saying, for these so specials, they bought enough, right? They bought enough that they thought would last the whole week of birthday week. So like, like later on, later on, you know that gorgeous, um, I'm not supposed to tell you that thing, but you know that gorgeous stand with all the threads on it? I've got a few of those left, so I was going to show you that one later. Vicky's bag, this is a few of those left. Uh, oh, I don't know if I'm showing that today. I don't know if I'm showing that one today. No, um, am I, Chris? I'm not showing that one today, am I, Chris? No, he says. Um, but basically, please check out your basket. Please, please, please check out your basket. Only because we can see so many of you put them in your basket. We see so many people on the phone line. It is a birthday so special. It's only day three, isn't it? It's only day three. So, oh my, hang on, day three. I must be doing all of them then, am I? Anyway, never mind. At £22.99. Right, graphics got out. Graphics got out while we check out your baskets and everything. I'll just put that away. Right, what's coming up next then? <sighs> Don't throw it. She's too precious to be thrown. Oh, so what does he do? Throws her. First time we've had organza. Synchronised swimming, look. I'll see you in three. We're celebrating our birthday this week with eight amazing competitions. And all you have to do for a chance to win is shop with us at Sewing Quarter. When you make your next purchase at Sewing Quarter from Wednesday the 31st of January until the 7th of February, you'll automatically be entered into our daily prize draw. The amazing prizes change every day and include stunning fat quarters, patterns, books, storage bags and tools. And that's not all. We're finishing the birthday week with a mega bundle of goodies to be won, worth over 700 pounds. Everyone who has shopped with us and spent over 30 pounds during our special birthday week will be entered into a draw to win a final prize. An Elna Lotus sewing machine, plus reams of fabric, prim accessories, storage, and so much more. So join us for the celebration from Wednesday the 31st of January on Sewing Quarter and be in with a chance to win. Good luck! On Monday, Jenny Smith will reveal the new Fruity Friends fabric range from Makawa with a super cute set of tropical cushions designed by Lynn Goldsworthy. The Fruity Friends print include quirky cactus and flamingo designs, plus pineapples, cherries and apples, and coordinating florals and gingham. Jenny will share heaps of ideas on using this new bright and bold fabric. The panels for bunting and cushions are easy to use and great for adding a splash of summer sunshine to your home all year round. So join us at 10 a.m. on Monday the 5th of February for this fun new show with Jenny Smith, only on Sewing Quarter. Freeview Channel 78 and Sky Channel 678. Happy birthday, Sewing Quarter. Thank you for welcoming me into your family. We have a brilliant day of birthday celebrations this Saturday with both Mandy Shaw and Anna from Alice Caroline in the studio. Mandy starts the weekend with a selection of her amazing birthday and party kits, including birthday bunting and a birthday hanging heart, plus a gorgeous say it with flowers cushion and a king or queen for the day hanging kit. Then at 10 a.m. Mandy's back with her adorable Russian doll designs for both quilt and a cushion. Anna from Alice Caroline starts her show at 9am when she's creating a stunning tree of life quilt using fabulous Liberty fabrics. You'll love sewing this timeless design. Then Anna wraps up the morning show by creating a practical Alice Caroline tote bag and new log cabin cushion. So tune in for these birthday shows when John has plenty of laughs with Mandy and Anna from 8am on Saturday the 3rd of February, only on Sewing Quarter. Freeview Channel 78, Sky Channel 678. I don't want to turn around yet. Shall I turn around now? <laughs> How fantastic is this? Now, if you follow me on Facebook, you'll have seen me wearing this the other day. Isn't it brilliant? Isn't it absolutely brilliant? Now, I've got to tell you, I haven't got very many of them. I need, if you want them, I'll, I'll, I'll tell. Adele's done this, right? And um, we thought it would be for a child, but so many people have emailed in and said, oh, I want it, I want it, I want it. Just brilliant. You know that you see those slankets or whatever they're called? No, they call them slankets. Yeah, it is a slanket. 
And you buy it at the back of the Daily Mail and things like that. It was a blanket with arms, isn't it? Don't they call it a slanket? Yeah, thank you. Hannah's going, don't say that word on television, John. Um, if you're sitting watching the telly, now, it's, it's, uh, if you're, it measures from the top to the bottom, 36 inches, but you could easily... Uh, your, feet, your feet don't go in this bit here. Your feet don't go in this bit here. They only, go, they only go as far as that. That's a seam there. I've got the pattern and I've got the fabric, got a bundle, but I've not got many. I've not got many of them. Oh, love it. I'm going to start, 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 going to start. Right, here we go. So you get the pattern. You get the pattern. You get the fabric. You get the thread. And you get the... Do you get wadding in this one as well? Oh, yeah, blimey, yeah. All of that for £24.99. pence. Now, they're calling it the mermaid tail. Now, what I would do is I would, have put elast I would put elastic in the top. But you don't have to. You could just have it on the sofa when you're sitting watching the telly. I'm just having a look now. All the pattern's here. All the pattern is there. Um, you can make it longer if you wanted to. You can, I, I, no, no, I'll keep it all to myself. I'll keep it all to myself. It's just all the pattern pieces there. They call it a child's mermaid's tail with a seam allowance of five-eighths of an inch on it. But, oh, I've... Right, I love it. I love it. I'm going to get one. I'm going to get one. Oh, hang on. Haley's in saying there's something wrong. I moved the balloon because I can't get past the table with it where it was. Such a priority in life. If I put it there, I can't get round the table. That's all. She's, she's all she's worried about. Here I am working my slave in my guts out. Oh, your balloon's in the wrong place. Right, a third of these have gone already. Get out of, get off the set because I'll only move it again. So, look, it's Haley moving the balloon. Show the still. There you go. Whole bundle, half of those are in. They'll sell out. They will sell out. Just the one colourway. Just the one colourway. £24.99. Right, I'm not going in. No, I'm not going anywhere, don't we? Right, yesterday, Joe Carter did her, her big eared bunny, I think it was called, wasn't it? Hundreds and hundreds and hundreds sold, right? So many people have been asking about mermaids. We've had the mermaids lying on the frolicking on the set for about a week now. Everybody's asking about them. I'm going to warn you now, this hour is going to be busy. This hour is going to be so fantastic. Look, now it's the first time we brought... Now, they've called it organza. I call it twinkle shift on myself. But two colourways, two different colourways. I'll do um, this one first. Do the blue one first. You get so much fabric. I'm sure that Joe will tell you you can make about three mermaids out of your bundle for £24.99. What you get is you get two metres of fabric. So what's the breakdown of the fabric then? Ha half a metre of Macau solid aqua. Half a metre of jade Macau solid. Half a metre of beige. Oh, I see. And then you get half a metre of the chiffon. Oh, they... Right. Oh, God, they call it crystal organza. If you used to shop in Borovix like I did, it's called twinkle chiffon. <gasps> First time I've ever done it. Now, I haven't got this. I haven't got this available on its own. So don't start messaging Hannah saying, oh, I want to buy the organza on its own. I'm going to ask Ian to get it in. I will ask Ian to get it in. Ian's our head buyer, right? <gasps> right, OK. You also get in the aqua one. Now, this is important. In the aqua one, you get caramel felt for the hair. You also get two embroidery threads. You also get an, a normal thread, and most importantly, you get the instructions. You also get toy filling. Oh, there it is. Not room on the table, but you also get toy filling as well. Okay, I'll hang on a sec. There you go. It's called Mermaid Magic. Right, that's the aqua one, right? That's the aqua. 24, that is brilliant. And you're going to be able to make up to three. 24 pounds and 99 pence. Oh, now, I've also, um, uh, right, this, this is the one that Joe's going to make on the show. This one's so, if you've got a little girl who loves mermaids, you are going to adore this one. Joe's going to make this one on the show. This one's called the Lilac Mermaid. So, uh, half a metre, half a metre, half a metre, half a metre. So you've got lilac, you've got pink, and you've got nude. You've got the twinkle shift on organza. You've got the embroidery thread. You get the thread. You can tell I'm brushing, because look at her hair. Her hair is lilac. It's just beautiful. And then £24.99. Now, she didn't do the lilac one for the... Um, that's specially for us. She's done the lilac one. She, Joe, has done the lilac one. Um, 
I, I just check out your baskets, that's all I'm going to say. Right, I'm going across, I'll go across under that, um, under that still if that's all right. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Sorry. No, 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 I haven't got instructions on the thing. Right. Now, yesterday, yes. when Vicky was on, she gave you a kiss while the still was still in. All you could do was, <laughs> hello, like this. All day. <laughs> <laughs> it's lovely to see you. Lovely to see you too. The only thing I'd say about making three, the felt. There's only enough felt in to do the hair of one. Oh, okay, but I've got, I've got an answer. Plenty, plenty of I've got hair. an answer for that in a minute. Right, um, where's, where's the half? Can, can you show me the half made one? The, just so we the can... almost finished one. Yes, just so we can see what it looks like. You're going to hit me with curve. this one as well, are you? No, I, <laughs> <laughs> I shan't say what happened after the last show, but there you go. Look, this one's not finished yet, but look with the lilac hair. Look. Isn't she? I can't hold her in the, I was going to hold her in the middle, but she's, she's already had her head stuffed, you see, so she's a bit top heavy. You see, I think, it, you know the ballerina doll looks like you? I think this looks like Lucy. <laughs> I think that one looks like Lucy. Right, let's get on with it then. Okay. So, instructions. Now, now is this, should, should Shemoya Mary try making one of these? She's done the cat and she's done a table runner this week. Oh, I don't know. It's, it's quite fiddly, but it's not, it's not unachievable. No, but it's, it's intermediate it more is, than beginner. She's a real, begin real yeah. beginner. We've sent in a picture. I'll show you later. We've sent in a picture of... Um, Shimo Did you get the picture of Shimoya Mary's cat? We'll do it later. We'll do it later. Yeah, I'm not going to do it now because the mermaid's more important. So intermediate. So in the, in the instructions, we've all got... You know, we know how brilliant Joe Carter's... Um, yeah, Hannah's going, we all love Joe. Don't worry, she's drunk. <laughs> <laughs> um, all the instructions... And all the templates, the pattern pieces. Oh, look! Um, and then, I just think it's brilliant. So you get all, all the pattern pieces are in there. And also, you always write, um, this is the grain of the, the, the grain, straight grain of the fabric, yes. isn't it? I put it on anyway. I mean, it doesn't always matter so much. Oh, no, no, solid exactly, fabric, exactly. But... And they're all proper size. You have to photocopy them to make them bigger, do you? And, what's, and they've got a quarter inch seam allowance, have they? Yes. Included in the... It's um, included in the template. So all, you've even got the flower look for the hair. Look. Attention to detail, that is. Right. Now, there's lots to do, isn't it? Because apparently you make this one slightly differently than you do other... To uh, get... Other toys. I need a chair, please. Oh, could you pass me that white box, please? I'll, we'll carry on. Because we've got... I'm now going to call it Twinkle Chiffon. It's, that's what it's called, Twinkle Chiffon. Thank um, you. Because the twinkle shift, the organza is included yeah. to give it that sort of shimmery sea effect. There you go. Perfect. Shipwrecked. The she's <laughs> basking in the sunlight. <laughs> anyway, I've overlaid. I cut the. I cut a normal fabric piece out. But yes. I've overlaid. I just cut a larger piece over the top, and yeah. then have. Well, I've on this machine. I've used as a, a scallop. Decorative stitch. You've gone through both both layers with that. Gone you? through both layers. Oh yes, yes, yeah. Um, just to hold hold it in place. So I've had it oversized, so it, in case it moved about. Yes. During sewing. Do, do, no, no, so this is this is the one with the with the scalloping over the two fabrics, right? You might not be able to see it on there, but let me just turn it round. Look. I think I think you know even if you make more in later in later life <laughs> in, in later date. And you didn't have any of the twinkle chiffon, that would be gorgeous. And if you did that in a metallic thread. So yes. this here, this is one of the stitches that the 680 does. I'll talk more about the 680 because there's that fantastic bundle. Oh, oh, by the way, they're going already, the bundles, and, they, and we are limited. Right, sorry, Joe. Okay. So, but you don't have to, if you don't have a scalloped stitch on the machine, you could sort of approach it in the way you would with quilting. But you, any could, you, could, design. you could make, you can do handmade, you could draw scallops you could, on, couldn't you? And hand. Not ha oh, you could hand stitch them on, but you could also do a, a machine stitch with them. Did you? That's not bonder webbed, that is it? That's just loose. No, on I've there. just laid it okay. straight yes. on okay. because it does wrinkle slightly. It's yes. not perfectly flat, which is nice because it catches the light a bit yeah, more. Yeah, no, makes I think it a bit that's lovely. Shimmery, and to make sure my lines were even, with doing something like this, they're not going to match at the sides no. unless it's a very lucky day. So you do have to sort of not think about that too much. But I drew on. I've half done this one. I drew on the lines with the water erasable pen, on the so one I could underneath. see through. I don't know whether it shows on the yes. camera, but I did have something you to follow. You see. Oh, you can just see. It. I can see it on our telly. But so if you bring that, bring the camera down to there. You see, so the, the fabric underneath has got the lines where the scallops have to go, 
and then put the twinkle chiffon organza down. You can just see where, that's obviously not a scallop line, that's just your guideline. The only thing is, I would use an air erasable pen for that one. Yes. Only because you can't get in that to wash it off, can you? Well, you sponge it. I did the oh, same did with this one. I sponged this one off and Oh, they fantastic. Disappeared. You sponge it from the top above the organza. Yes. Mm. It comes off quite nicely. Yeah. Right. Um, and these, I just did them three quarters of an inch apart, my lines. I, I measured them out on this one and that one. So they're vaguely in the same sort of ballpark. I need to warn you that now is there a favourite? Yeah, I thought it might be. Lilac's in the lead. Lilac's in the lead. Oh, oh, hang on, no. I only buy this much, though. Only buy this much. I'm going to re-thread my machine, because it's got oh, cords. Oh, are you, It's got cords. OK, then. Um, and I'll just stitch a couple more of those lines on to finish that piece. Brilliant. So there is a little bit of prep. Before you get to, to the proper sewing-y, construction -y stage, there are a few bits to bits prep. Bits you can prep. Um, can you choose what size scallop you do on the machine, or is it just a fixed scallop size? Um, I don't know. You possibly could do. I just went for the fixed scallop so, so size. So the scallop is the one. And what number is it on the machine? It's mode two, number yeah. 20. OK, mode two, number 20, if you get this. I'll tell you more about that in a minute. <sighs> Who hasn't seen it? I'll oh, just... honestly. She doesn't, Joe doesn't like showing things before they're finished. Right. Just... Hayley, who's in one of those moods today? Right? They missed seeing the lilac mermaid. This isn't, I can't sit her up, look, because look, we can't, she's not finished yet, she's not finished, but look. Honestly, why don't they, I tell you what, tomorrow's show will be produced by Hayley and presented by Neil, right? Just, just so they know, it's, you know, it's not easy, it's not easy. Look, oh yeah, let's do it the other way around, because you won't understand what Neil's saying. Neil can produce and Hayley can present. That's the Lilac Mermaid unstuffed. Right. So now you've got, uh, the, the, you're doing the, oh, you're sewing the blue one, but you've got a, a Lilac one half finished. That's what's confusing me. Yes, because yeah. there's quite a bit of hand finishing, yeah. I thought I'd, I'd get the Lilac one to an almost finished sort yeah. of state. And then, because the hair, sorry, I've left that up because the hair is stitched into place oh, okay. at the end and things oh, like okay. that. And it has a belly button. So, so this bundle here is the aqua bundle. Can I, I'm, I'm going to see if I can put her in somewhere then. I thought, I did. good morning, John and Joe. Loving the mermaid have bought the aqua bundle. Oh, there you go. Sandra, Sandra, she's checked out on the wrong colour. Neither are wrong, Sandra, but the wrong colour. Just ring the, ring the call centre. They'll sort it all out. They're brilliant, they're brilliant, they're brilliant. Right, go. Um, also, before trimming this to fit, I'm going to stitch a stay stitch all around the outside and I might zigzag because it's to stop it from fraying because this will be the opening and you, because it gets a bit of movement, stop the organza yeah. from fraying. I'll do, well, I'll just do two lines of straight stitch yeah. for now. I had a message in from a customer in the West Midlands saying, tomorrow sounds like a blockbuster, can't wait. Right, well, every day's a blockbuster. But no, this is no, no, this is Neil. He's presented tomorrow, isn't it? Neil's presented <laughs> tomorrow. Tomorrow sounds like a block. I'd like to see him try. Oh, Mandy Shaw's in tomorrow. And um, Alice Caroline's in tomorrow, isn't it? So you're just doing a stay stitch around the outside? Right? Yes, just to hold it to the edge and minimise fraying. The um, organza seems to be behaving itself. Is it... I thought it might be tricky, actually, yeah. before I did it. It was a bit of an experiment. I only know because I had to make the costumes for a musical in the West End called Jingle Jangle, star starring Norman Wisdom and Bogdan Komanowski. Oh. And then all the chorus wore twig, they were all clouds and things. It was a bit weird. <laughs> um, and then I had to make cloud costumes out of Twinkle Shit on. And it was not fun to stitch with? No. No. I was only a student at the time, but, but this is fine, this is brilliant. There we go. So I've done the double line. With a bit more time, I'd have done a small zigzag, but just to hold that together. Uh, Chris says, happy, happy first birthday, John. Just ordered the scissors, it was my birthday yesterday. I'm looking forward to the year ahead. Christina, so am I from still here. Um, there's, only, there's less than 10 of the, the so special scissors. 
They've gone, they've taken them away from me. There's only 10 left of the So Special scissors. I said, your mum's got those gold coloured scissors, hasn't she? You got she them has. Yeah. Last Mother's Day. Oh. Yeah, but you didn't get the whole bundle like that. You just bought them separately, didn't you? I did. Uh, oh, is this, is, okay, I just love, 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 love the quilt on the wall. Please tell me you haven't missed it. 11 o'clock, 11 o'clock. Joe's doing it at 11 o'clock. There'll be more talking than sewing. Won't there? <laughs> there might be. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it's brand new fabric, all brand new uh, Macau pussycat fabric and a panel. And you know, this time last year we had a, um, a Macau panel and it comp flew out, didn't it, last year? And this is gorgeous. I Don't you see those pinks and blue squares there? They've got cats on them. They've got cats on them. Anyway, sorry, we'll carry on with mermaids now. Um, so that's yeah, the you're tail. You're making that. You should know they have Am cats. <laughs> <laughs> right, okay. So, tail's so ready the... to sew. With the bikini top, on the template, there'll be the position of the bikini top. Yeah. But instead of cutting the piece out to the exact size and then positioning that on and ironing it, just in case it moves at all, I cut a larger piece out. Press uh, that on. Oh, I see. Put those on. And then pop that on. And then I know it's definitely in the right position. Bond the web. Truly versatile iron-on transfer adhesive. Sorry. Oh, sorry, you missed what Joe was doing there. You're just drawing around the pattern piece. Look, one. So you've bond web the bikini onto the body fabric, and now you're cutting the body out of the fabric itself. Yes. And then to give some detail to the shells, and to make sure it's really held in place. I do some stitch lines just to hold it. Is that, what's that you've drawn that on? Oh. That's my actual template. From the, the, the that's the original, that'd be worth a fortune. <laughs> yeah, I might This is for sale it. to what, no, I'm only joking. <laughs> right, both the lilac and the aqua are level pegging now, level pegging. In terms of checking out, lots more in the baskets, but in terms of checking out, checked out. Only 20 minutes in, and over a quarter... Now, I have to tell you, we had hundreds of these, and over a quarter of each has been checked out already. Oh, yeah, you know the mermaid tail I modelled at the beginning? There's only five left of those. There's only five left of those. I do feel... I'm ever so sorry, um, people who are watching later on, on Sky or Repeat or on the YouTube Repeat. I do apologise, but we'll, we'll get... We'll, you know. There we go. And then the stitch detail. I just started at the bottom here and went backwards and forwards. Is that on the, is that on the, are the instructions in the instructions of how to do that? I think there's a photo of it. I don't think it's, it says specifically how to do it. OK. So I start at oh, this... Oh, no, but you can see, yeah. Go on. This point, so up to the end and then turn round and go back. And I don't okay, reverse over... OK, just have a look at that, sorry. And I don't reverse over the first couple of stitches because they're going to be stitched over a few times anyway. Yes, stitch into place by sewing lines to represent the grooves in a shell working upwards from the centre bottom. Leave the machine needle in the fabric, lift the presser foot and pivot the fabric and sew back down over the stitches each time. So you did tell them. It's, not, it's uh, number five. I surprised myself. Don't forget we've got these coming up as well this hour. Now, Joe's going, now, well, I thought you should. Uh, Hannah's saying, when you're doing the, the when, you, when you're doing the bikini at home, you can go much slower because Joe's going very fast. I thought Joe was actually going quite slow, oh, to be honest. I'll go a bit faster now because I want to yeah, get, it done. get through. But obviously you can take your time. You don't have to make yours in 50 minutes, do you? And this is the third bikini top I've done in this the morning. last- This morning? No, no, no. So I've had a bit of practice over the last couple of days. You see, you could do that. I mean, I know you get the thread in it, but you could do that in a different colour if you wanted to. It would look really pretty. Or a metallic, silvery metallic thread would be quite nice, wouldn't it? I suppose it depends who you're making it for. What colour is the bikini on the, on the um, pink? Oh, a bright pink. Oh. Okay. That's actually the same pink as used for the tail, but it's changed oh, the colour. Oh, because it's got by... the shift on over it, yes. 
Yep. Uh, organza, twinkle chiffon. What do you, what's it called on your bit of paper upstairs? What's, what's the twinkle chiffon called on your bit of paper upstairs? Crystal organza, that's it. Now, um, you brighten up my life and teach me lots. Happy birthday, love to you all from Lynn. Oh, Lynn in Greater Manchester. You got, I won't read it out, but you've got a very, very posh surname. Look at that double barreled. Um, that is a nice name. Hmm? That, um, hmm? that is a particularly nice name. Uh, I was going to say something very important there. Did you, have you ironed at all the organza? No. Right. It's, be careful if you're going to iron the organza because it is 100% nylon, so only do it on a very, very cool iron if you do have to iron it at all. Okay. Next. Okay, so all the pieces are prepped, so I okay, can start. Okay, so we've got body front, body back. Hang on, sorry. Body front, body back, tail front, tail back, whole tail, hair. This is the hair. That's the chin. Chin, is that's it? the face there. Yes. Okay, brilliant, right. And there are the arms over there, right. Okay, so the hair is basically just a piece that's stitched in this top seam and is loose at the back, but we hand stitch it okay. in place later. So these are the hair pieces. I'm just going to close this dart on the top. When you close the dart, make sure they're mirror images because they have to, I'll, I'll show it in a minute. Yeah. Um, have you done an angel? I've not done an angel, I don't think. Oh, no, only because Shamu Mary and a lot of ladies I speak to are like collect angel, you know, like angel stones, angel dolls, angel pictures and things like that. It'd be quite nice to do an angel, wouldn't it? It would. Because I think some, there's something sort of angelic -y spiritual about a mermaid, really, isn't there? Do you know what I mean? I just suddenly thought it'd be quite nice. They do have that sort of ethereal yes. quality. So what if we just, a dart? So pop the dart in that one, and I want to do the dart so that when that's stitched, they're mirror images, otherwise they won't go together yeah. when I sew them together. Okay. And that tells you to do that, doesn't it, in the, in the instructions? It should do. No, it does. Does it? <laughs> well, see, I don't read them thoroughly now. I just glance at the pictures because... You wrote them, didn't you? But a while ago. Oh, that's OK. OK, Hannah Spent thinks she's a mermaid. Huh? She thought she could talk to them. Oh, <laughs> hang on, hang on, what have we done wrong now? <laughs> Oh, it went back in. It went back in there. I think when we when we put something up there. Oh, is it there? Sorry. Right. So now I'm putting. Sorry, the hair. it's Haley. You could have to bend down there. Nobody's going to see you over there. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what's going on. So on the day of the birthday, she said, don't worry, don't worry, I'll be in at six o'clock to help you out. I'll be there at six o'clock. We were all here at six, well, we were at about 20 to six. Were we ready to go, where's Hayley, where's Hayley? At seven o'clock, we had to ring her and say, yeah, yeah, Hayley. <laughs> so I'm just coming through the door now. <laughs> anyway, so what have you done? You've done the two darts. Two darts, so, and then put the hair pieces right sides together. Yeah. And I'm going to sew them all the way around the side here, leaving this top don't end Don't do open. the top edge, right, okay. It's felt quite easy to stitch then. Really easy to sew with. It's quite malleable, you can, flexible. You can make it go where you want it to yeah. and stretch a bit as well if needs be. What time is it? Oh, I've got, to, I've got some other things to show you in a minute. I'll do that in a second. I'll try and do this quick. Oh, I've got ages, I have to do the hair first. In the pattern, I didn't show clipping around the hair because it was made from a stretchy fabric. Oh, OK. In the one that was written up. But oh, this yeah, one... The, the ones from the magazine are the ones that have been on our shelves the last couple of That's like that Shannon... Um, yes, it is. ...stretchy, fleecy fabric, isn't it? So with this, you definitely need to clip because it's quite chunky felt. So I'm yeah. just going to clip at the tip of the hair. OK, hang on. Can you see that? Yep. Go, there you go. So you've, cut, you've clipped the corner there. And I'll pop a few V-shaped notches around these curved sides. Okay. And also where it curves internally, just a few little clips. Yeah. Especially at this end here. Okay. 
There we go. Sorry, am I not being very speedy? No, well, I wasn't saying anything. You uh, imagine that then. Did I? <laughs> you imagine that? I was In my about head, to pick I've got, just you. got. Hurry up, up Joe. hurry up. No, I would never say that. I'll just clear that up there. <laughs> there we go. I'll say it when, I, when you have to hurry up. And that's the hair piece okay. in one section. So before you do this bit, make sure you give it all a good push out along the seam so yeah. it's got the shape. And then base this top edge now, together. Would they, are they both exactly the same the, size? They're not like when you do an ear and one side is bigger than the other. No, anything. they're exactly the okay. same size. So it's quite an easy piece. Yep. And then you base stitch the top edge together. Yes. Just is to, that, did you say that's going in, into a face seam? It goes into the top seam yeah, around yeah. here. Okay, well, when you do that, is that the hair finished for now? Yes, I mean, I'll baste it onto the back of the head piece, but then that can go to one side. Okay, well, we'll do that, and then, we'll do that, and then I'll go and do the, the bundles again. If that's right. I don't want anyone to miss anything, you see. There we go. And then this is the back head piece. It's all one, se all one section. I'm going to close this dart along here if you you can't lift her oh, hair it's, up. It's, oh you could lift her hair up because i've not stitched in place okay so this is the dart that you're doing at the moment to give the back of the, the shape of the back of the head that's where the hair comes down and as you can see it goes into that seam across the top there which we'll do, we'll do in a second She doesn't look very happy there, does she? Uh, Jill says, I got the... Is this Jill that told me to shut up? Is that the Jill that told me to shut up? I got the rose gold scissors set for my birthday. They are great and the best scissors I've ever used. And she's honest, because she's the one who said she shouted. I think that's her, Jill from West Yorkshire. She texted in on birthday. Day, uh, happy birthday. I've spent... I didn't think I'd say this, but I spent a whole year shouting at the telly. Just shut up, John Scott. <laughs> I think that's her. Everyone thought that was very funny, by the way, Joe. Okay, so you're, now you're going to baste it to... This is the back head. I've closed that dart. So these darts all line up. Yeah. I'm going to sew this on. There will be extra fabric for seam allowance here. For when you go around that, yeah. Because, yes, because that's, that edge is already finished. Okay, no pins, then? No, for the sake of speed, I'll just... I should have done it the other way up as well. It's a little bit easier to have the cotton fabric on top. So why did you sew it that way then? Oh no, it's not. No, I was. I'm telling a lie. So I can see where. Oh, it take ends. that back. Rewind I take that. It bit. Back, it's so. easier with the felt on the top then. It is because so that you can see you've got the seam allowance at the end. Oh, Jill says it wasn't the same one. Jill from West Yorkshire. There's two Jills in West Yorkshire. Says, I've never tell you to shut up, John. And then Leanne says, "Morning, everyone." Anyone else think that Jo should have her own book? Uh, I've been saying it <laughs> for a year now, because I was going to be her agent. Yes. And take 50%. You do all the modelling in the book as well, when you're holding all holding the toys. Holding all the things, yeah, like that. <laughs> well, if Jennifer Taylor can get away with it in her book, then I can get away with it in yours. <laughs> right, OK, so you've base stitched that. All the, around the top. So that's the back of the head there. That's the forehead there, is it? This is the neck. Oh, that's the neck, sorry, yeah. So this is the hair. And it looks <laughs> odd, it's all just one Oh, piece, no, that's right, because yes, yeah. But we'll... OK, don't do, don't do any more. Don't, I'm just going to okay. go and do bundles, and then I'll come back. Right. Right. They need to be in here. Right. The two bundles, this is the... By the way, you get, you get toy stuffing in both the bundles as well. I just haven't got it on the table. Lots of people have got the lilac one. Right, half the stock, blimey, that's hundreds. Um, half the stock has been checked out already. Lots of people got it in their baskets, right? So you get half a metre lilac, half a metre pink, half a metre nude, half a metre twinkle chiffon, two embroidery threads, sewing thread, felt for the hair, and the instructions, and the toy um, stuffing, £24.99. It's not twinkling on the paper, is it? But it does twinkle in light, that. And then, so remember that one's got that one's got purple lilac hair. That one's got lilac hair. The aqua one, they're very, very, very close. Well, no, do you know what? Because this is what a real mermaid looks like, and this is a fant and the pink one's a fantasy mermaid, isn't it? Right. So you get biscuit, aqua, teal, twinkle, embroidery thread, thread, brown felt for the hair, 
and the instructions and the toy stuffing. Right, there are, it's, it's, I feel like the X Factor now. There are literally, they keep, they keep doing this. They keep overtaking each other. There's only two. There's two more of the, which one? Of the blue more than the, than the pink, but there's an awful lot of pink ones, the lilac ones in the basket. Oh, best, best whatever. Best year ever, I've just got the blue kit. Who's that from, Jane? I can't see because it's over there. Right, now very quickly while we're here, in the kit, we think there's enough fabric to make three but only enough hair to make one, right? So you can, either, you can do one of two things. You can do one of two things. We have this bundle of felt with all different, so you can have white hair, blonde hair, red hair, or red hair, pink hair, or biscuit hair if you wanted to. Seven pounds and four. You get eight sheets, right? There's eight sheets in there, right? 30 by 30, I think they are, aren't they? That's enough, isn't it, to do your hair? Yeah. So you get eight of those for seven. That's not even a pound a sheet. OK, now the other thing I'm going to show you, now you'll be able to get these after the, uh, not after the show, but after this hour, these will be available on the website. If you wanted, for example, to do, remake one with lilac hair, we also have lilac, we have the brown, we have blonde, we have black, if you want to, because Tim, Tim wanted one with black hair, and we have the brown. Those will be available by the individual sheet. Uh, you know, on the website where, where today, they will all be shown that it's only because I want Joe to, Joe's got a lot to say to Joe, and I don't want to say, here's the lilac, here's the brown, here's the black. So they'll all be available down there after this show. In the next hour, they'll be available down there. Shall I do Joe's bundle now very quickly? Right, Joe's put a little bundle together for you of tools that she uses an awful lot of. £32.99. Now, uh, this is the John Scott Turney. I, well, I didn't invent it, but it's the one I use all the time, isn't it? I wanted to invent that, along with the rulers with the, for the grids. So you get that, you get the water erasable pen, very important to show, you get the little snips, you get hand needles, embroidery or cruel, and then, it's so just one in there, one ruler. There's the foundation, it's the one with the quarter inch edge on it. All of that bundle there, 32 pounds, I'll move that, 32 pounds and 99 pence. Right, okay, let's keep going. Okay. Oh, I still haven't talked about those yet. Have we done any stuffing yet? No, not yet. No, I'm about to. Okay. Go. The ears are the same piece, one on top of the other, and just sew around the curve. Okay, no, not, not, not one bigger than the not other. Not one bigger than the other. No, they're just flat, front and back ears. Okay. They're a bit small. I'd needed to limit how fiddly it was somewhere. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Good. Yeah, that's what I said. The aqua mermaid's the real colourway, and the lilac one is the fantasy one. I don't know what all the fuss is about. No, they're not. The blue ones are real. They are in my life. <laughs> and then I'm clipping V shaped notches around the curve, and that's an ear done. Oh, oh, okay. Maggie's messaging on an email asking, is the machine... Oh, I can, I can answer this one. Go on. Right. Is the machine, the 680, operated by a foot pedal or by a button on the front? Both, isn't it? it you is. can do either. You won't do both of them at the same time. You can either do it with a traditional pedal, or like I would do, or there's a button on the front of the machine. Can you see it? That's not it. Oh yes, that, sorry, I couldn't see that there. Okay. Uh, press that, and you can just take the unplug. You have to unplug the um, foot, <laughs> and then you press the stop-start button. Sorry, I was miles away then. Uh, we've got the special bundle today, so you, you'll always. Pay, you've got this machine, haven't I you? I have. You um, will always pay nine 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 for the machine, but today you get fifty-eight pounds worth of ninety-seven pence of goodies for free with it. The K Facet Hardback Bold Blooms book, the warm and white which, uh, um, batting, and one of his latest uh, fat quarter packs worth 58 pounds and 97 pence, you get all that for free. Right, okay, let's move on. Okay, this hair is a separate piece, but the fringe that sweeps across is an integral panel. Okay. And this is the face piece. And it needs to be cut out a certain way 
Only if you want the fringe going. If you cut it out the opposite way, it just means the fringe sweeps in the opposite direction. Oh, oh okay. If okay, that okay, makes okay, sense. Okay. And because the fabric's either way, it could be either, either, it either could. side. It could. Yeah. But I've put my markers on this side, so I'll... So the, there are notches... There are notches on the pattern, so you know which side yours... You, there if are, you want it exactly like yours. This notch is on the top, and that corresponds with this. It matches up with this central seam in the okay. top of the head. Because it's not symmetrical, it can be a bit tricky to yeah. work out what goes where. And it's felt great to, you can just bring it to the, because it's a curve, but it's still quite flexible. You can just bring it around the edge yeah. you want to sew it to. Um, please, I know, I know you get very bored of me saying this, but please, please, please check out. I don't want anyone to miss out. And they're absolutely flying out the door. Now, remember, in the bundle, there's enough to make three mermaids, but there's, not, there's only enough to make one hair. So if you want to make the other two, you'll need to either buy the felt bundle or after the show, individual sheets of the felt will be available. Not after this hour, they will be underneath me on the website. I'm going to base the ears into place on the face, but I, also, I always like to base the end. With these, you could just give them a press and they'll stay in position, but I always like to base the edge together and then there again there are notches to mark where the ears go okay. and that looks like it's not in the right place that doesn't look like but it, it's it in will the right be place. it's not just show that just show that again because people at home will get right okay is it is it quarter an inch in from the edge there's or is it... a marker on either side oh, okay. but yes it is but that doesn't look like where does that one go then this one goes there. I need to just check the marks on the other side. That do, it's almost at that seam, but not quite, I think. That doesn't look right, does it? It doesn't look right. But trust, trust me, you, it, it will be. I trust you, Jo. But go with the marks. Yeah. So that's being basted on which side, then? Front of the ears to the right side, right side. of the face. There's one. I'll trim all. Did you say, say with the ear on the bottom that time, then? You when mean? you just stitch those together? I did, because I was looking at the marks. Okay. I wanted to make sure. As long as I can see the raw edge of the ear, I know it's... Yeah, all right. Well, there you go. <laughs> Morning, Joe and John. Ordered my mermaid to add to my collection. Love, 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 love all of Joe's toys. That's Diane in Hampshire. Oh, thank you. You're very popular, aren't you? Not really. Oh, don't really. <laughs> What's the matter? We're going to do some stuff in a minute, aren't we? We are, we are. Well, you can't see that. Right, OK. Right, and the last job with the face is this odd sort of shaped piece. Yes. That is the, the chin fits around here. There, can you see there's a seam across there, going from the ear across the bottom there. Oh, it goes right the way around. Is this... It, which, which, which... it fits from this corner here. Yeah, yeah, so it's just about so it's where the hair joins. Yes. Right the way around. Right the way round there, you see where the edge is. Okay. Say this again, Hannah. It's an idea to pin this, because it's on the bias, it can stretch. It is an idea to pin this. It's better to pin it, so where are your pins? And I, you know, I've got to move on. Huh? I've got to be quick. Mind you, I think, I don't think I, I don't know if, if I was teaching that, I don't know if I'd pin that one either. Would you not? Only because if you pin it and then the fabric moves a little bit, you know what I mean, or, or bunches yeah. up against the... You just, with this, you just want it to reach at both sides. There we go. And that's the face. <gasps> I would trim V-shaped notches in yes, because it's course, a curve. Yeah. But... Oh, look. The ears are in the right place, Joe. Well done. <laughs> <laughs> right, what's next? Arms. Right. The arms, right sides together. When you're cutting them out, you need two going one way and two going the yeah. opposite all way. All the templates, all the, all the patterns are all in the instructions. Because we want mirror image ones, yeah. right sides together, and sew around. And if you want to draw on the seam to follow around the thumb, just to make sure. Yes, it's don't, you don't get a pointy thumb or anything. Because I know what I do. If I didn't draw it on, I'd get to a point and pivot and come round, and it would be like a point, you know, an angry thumb. 
it's and also you can't always see the edge so well around yes. here so if it's drawn on and then after that so clip into these sections okay not quite as far as the stitching and then v-shaped notches and on the thumb very good you should do this for a living do you think yeah <laughs> it never work out no who makes soft toys for a living i know um and then turn it the right way out and and, and stuff and what did you stuff it with? Um, toy stuffing. Toy stuffing. It comes in the bundle. Now I meant actually with these. What did we <laughs> use to stuff it with? Um, now you see Mandy Shaw using her version. Well, this is our version of those, right? They, uh, what it is, they call it a needle, a quilting needle gripper, right? But you can use it to, to you know, like... Grab your um, stuffing and push it into the, the right place and everything. Mandy used them all the time. They have got this like safety catch on them here, which when you close it, you see, the teeth interlock with each other so it won't open when you're not using it. Now, our little tip here is when you first get them, it's, all you do is you just push it down like that. Right? That's all you need to do. But it, uh, Hannah tried to open them yesterday and she got uh, a bit stuck with them. So she Googled it and on somewhere else they sell them, like a, the name of a river, a place where you can buy things that's the name of a river. Uh, a lady put on, they are brilliant, but I had to get my husband to open them for me. Just, you know, she did it in the end though, because she hasn't got a husband. Hannah hasn't got a husband. Anyway, eight ninety nine. They're brilliant, aren't they? They do look very medical. They do look something like something my um, older brother would have in his operating theatre. Now, what you can also do is uh, use them to change um, over. Oh, it was this quilting. Okay, in here you see, like you, what you can do is when you're changing a needle, you could use this, especially on an overlocker. You could just hold the, the end of that to put it because it's quite difficult to get to sometimes, isn't it? Anyway. So use okay. those to stuff those with. And the great because they've got rounded edges. Yes. You can really, especially with something like the thumb, really push out the thumb oh, in yes. the right way. And also you can pop a little bit of, uh, push, that's it. of stuffing in and move it straight down to where you want it to be instead of trying to push it down. Uh, so they are yes. really so doing the handy. Little thumbs, you can put a bit of stuffing on the end of it and push it into the thumb. Yep, take it right to where you want it. They're brilliant, aren't they? They've they been are. waiting for ages for those. So okay. they're the arms stuffed and I'm just going to base this top edge. Okay. Together. Brilliant. It's suddenly gone very, very, very cold in here again, hasn't it? Michael's got his scarf, his hat, and his fingerless mittens on. <laughs> there we go. So I've got the arms done. Yeah. And now this curved opening in the bottom of the back head yes. needs to go around this curved opening in the back body. So I'll okay. stitch that one around Oh, that's there. just a straightforward seam, though, isn't it? That's not... It is. And then the same with that one. So I'll do that. And then that's the upper body almost done. Oh, jo Joanne, my love, just try again or refresh your screen. Jo um, because um, she said she's trying to buy the Aqua Mermaid, but the screen's not letting me, the code's not right. No, it's all right. It is all right. Just, if you have any troubles, just, just give them a call. It's free and they're brilliant, the call centre here. 0800 112 It is the right one. Hundreds of people have other, you know, kind of, it's, they, they've flown out in the hundreds, so it is working. Oh, and, and uh, Hannah just practised it and it worked. Uh, that's the lilac one there. That's the Atco one there. Mind you, I was... Um, oh, I'll tell you what I haven't talked about. I'll talk about it later. We've got this fantastic um, magazine subscription that I was looking at in the prep time, and I somehow have managed to buy it. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. So that's the back of the head. It's looking like a smurf now. It does have a nice hat sort of shape. I know, we have to get a move on, won't we? We've got about ten minutes left, Joe. OK. Freezing, can you sort it out, please? No, all right, thanks. <laughs> yeah, so I said 10 minutes, yeah. We're all right, we'll be very easy. Pretend I reversed back over those stitches okay. and didn't hit the wrong button. Um, and then the ears can be. They're not ears. Oh, no, they're not ears. <laughs> <laughs> Um, these things, um, arms, that's it, can be basted into position on this front body section. Brilliant. And there are marks, and this time they're on the front because I cut it out with yes, that in place. Yes, with the template, yeah. So I'll give these a quick baste on. Okay. 
Make sure you've got the right one on the right side because there's an angle, there's an angle, aren't they? Oh, I want the thumbs up. Yes, you want the thumbs up like this. I'll show you on this one while Joe does that. Because if you put them in the other way, not only she won't be doing a YMCA, she'll be doing that. And also the thumbs will be going downwards, wouldn't they? Thumbs down is always bad. Thumbs isn't it? down is always bad, but also the arms would go like, like that then, wouldn't they? I don't think she needs a rock or something to put her head on, doesn't she? I don't mean make a Joe rock, I meant a set dressing rock. There, that's better. She's still smiling, isn't she? It's a sea urchin. She's a sea urchin as a, as a pillow. <laughs> right. There's a little dart in the bottom of the stomach, yeah. which later on shows us where the belly button goes. Oh, OK. So I'll just close that. And then I'll move on a little bit because it is... So now it's just putting together like you put a joke. It's Carter. slightly different oh, oh, okay. in the... Only a little bit. Yeah. In that... Um, now I join... And I would start at the top, line up this dart in the top with the notch, the marker there. Yes. And so from one side down, make sure the hair's out of the way. Yes. This is the tricky bit where the ear is. But the seam allowance is just inside it, so you should get to that point, pivot with the needle down, move the hair out of the way, bring this down. Yeah. So to there, pivot again, and then bring this side of the body together. So where are you stitching on that one? You've, sti you've stitched... It's from this top point all the way down. Hang on a sec. From the top point there, all the way down, past the ear. Along this back section here. Down by the sides of the face, down to the neck. Down to the neck. And you can stop there if you want, if you find it easier to reposition and do this bit separately. Oh, OK, yeah, because you then do you're doing the rest wrong. of the body to the waist. Yes. Yeah. And then that's the upper body all together. There's just this opening in the back, which is a dart. Yeah. And then the tail. Oh, yes. These bottom bits need to fit onto here. The easiest way to do it, make a small clip before you start there, not quite the whole way into the seam allowance. Yeah. And then... So you're doing like a Y, are you doing a V seam? It is. So pivot at the end. It's not as tricky as it looks. So you go to the middle. Go to the middle. Lift the foot up and bring it round. Just make sure it's nice and flat underneath. You've not got a tuck in this bottom tail bit. Yeah. There we go. Then you have the bottom of the tail on. It's virtually impossible, or it's very tricky without making that little snip there. Yes. But also, it wouldn't matter if you've got a little tuck in it, surely, because you, aren't you going to um, stuff it and do stitches and Stitch things? lines, yeah. So they disguise it. So I'll do this one. And then the tail just join together along the side. You can do that one if you can work out which bit goes where. <laughs> <laughs> Go on, sorry. Oh, five and a half minutes. All right. Five and a half minutes. Yeah, we're OK. Maria in West Sussex. John, I love the mermaid. I've got a mermaid outfit using organza. Have you indeed, Maria? And felt for the top and a wrap around tail. Many mo Oh, no, hang on. Let's I've read this wrong. Hi, John, I love the mermaid. I made a mermaid outfit using organza and felt for the top and a wrap around tail many moons ago for my daughter. And then it says, the photo is buried, and then it stops. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry I read that wrongly, Maria. That's what happens when you just read something like that. OK. So this is the back tail, because yep. this dart, ultimately the back body does this. So we oh, have the yes. opening here. Um, I would recommend pinning these together, because you want these, the tail bit around these curves, them to be exactly matching up. It's right. the same piece. So if there's any distortion, it then makes set sewing this bit. In, in fact, sometimes I've started there and done one side and oh, then okay. done the other. Yeah. So sometimes you've gone from here, you draw it in where you think. From here, around here. 
try and press, finger press these seams open. It just gives the tail a little bit more freedom when it's turned through. And then clip into these okay. areas. Not, not as far as stitching, but that gives the tail yes, a bit yeah, of freedom. Yeah, yeah. And then how do, you do, how do you do that bit? I'm sorry. And the last bit is stitch it together around the waist, but that's all in. So, so before you did that, so, so when, did you, when did you stuff that bit then? I'm a bit when confused. it's all together, I oh, when it's turned all together. it out the right way. And yeah. you can still see, I've not got rid of them. I don't know if they're still visible. I drew on yes, yes, with yes. a pen, lines to follow. I gave the tail a bit of a press so that all the curves were pressed down. Yeah. And then did stitch lines. The lower, don't take them up too far because it's really difficult then to stuff the tail. And actually I think it gives nicer definition. It, it sort of becomes a bit tighter if these go up too high. So just little lines just to yeah. give sort of a suggestion of the shape of the tail. Okay. So all, all stitched together. When, so you, uh, uh, when you stitch together, there's no stuffing in it at all then? No stuffing. That goes in because yeah. it creates these channels. And then how do you stop it coming up? Or you don't because you're going to stuff the rest of that in a I'm second. Yes. Yeah. Okay. And when have you stuffed the head through? Because obviously it's open at the back there. Is that just stuffed, stuffed now? Yes. I like to stuff the face and then draw the face on. But if I leave the body still empty, yes. when I'm sewing, I can bring the needle with the knotted thread on the end through the body and out where I want on the face. Oh, okay, okay. Just then the knot's held. I knew, know it's securely fixed inside. Okay. And I've not taken the pen lines off, but I don't know if they're still visible. I drew on the face. Yes. And then just embroidered that. Okay, now I've only got a minute left. What were you saying earlier about the back of the hair? The back of the hair, right, I'll do that. To make it like a ripple. It looks like Gwen Stefani or someone like that, doesn't it? It's sort no, of... hang on. Who sang? Stay with me. Who was that? Shakespeare's sister. Yeah, who was that? Who was in Shakespeare's sister? Um, it was Siobhan Farhi. Yeah, was, she the one in the was she the one in the, in the um, sequined cat suit? Oh, yes. It, that's yes, the her one. hair was like this, wasn't it? I feel I've given my age away. <laughs> It was only a couple of years ago. When was it? It was quite a while ago. No, it wasn't, because she was in Banana Rama first, wasn't she? Was, was that the same person? Yeah, no, it is Siobhan Fai from Banana Rama. But. Yeah, well, Banana Rama was only about five years ago. Yeah, wasn't it was it? only about that, maybe seven. Anyway, getting on with the hair, because we've only got a couple of minutes. Okay, so I've knotted the end of that thread. And the hair, I want to stitch to the back of the head, but right. not. Flat. Yes. So just create little rouges. I'll just create what? Well, the spell check tells me that ruching isn't a word, but I'm ruching it. It is. Yes. Yeah. How are you trying to spell it? R U C H. R O U, isn't it? Is it R O U? -U. Oh, maybe that's why it's wrong. It didn't give me the option for oh, okay. the correct. I might be wrong. Roosh. Oh, no, maybe, maybe there's no O in it. No, you roosh up curtains, you roosh up lots of things. So what you've done, you stitch right through the felt. Right through the hair. I mean, use coordinating thread, but actually it probably won't show yeah. anyway. And catch it to the back of her head. And catch it to the back. I'm trying to keep this as open as possible. Yeah. It does look like um, extreme makeover at this point now, it does. doesn't it? <laughs> and just, give, just ripple the hair. I'm going to stitch that down a few times yeah. just to make sure it's better secured. And I just think it looks sort of underwatery, as if it's sort of yes. float. No, you're not convinced, are you? No, no, I'm seeing Daryl Hannah now. Oh, are you? Oh, hang on, hang on. There's a restaurant in Vegas. Where what? Oh dear, Hannah. Hannah wants to go to this restaurant in Vegas, where you're surrounded by big glass tanks, and then men and ladies come down as mer people. <laughs> and dance in the water while you're eating your dinner. I, I bet it smells. Yeah, it might put me off a bit. Yeah, no, but they'd have to put bleach in the water and everything, wouldn't they? Or chlorine. Oh, well. When are you going to have, you booked, haven't you booked a ticket for Vegas? She's going to Vegas. I, I've never been to Vegas, I quite fancy. She might go with Little Paul. No. Oh. So I'm doing this quite... Yeah, rushed. yeah, but you can do it however you want to do it, just to create that. But you do just get that, that sort of ripply, ruchy effect with and the And you hair. just do it on one, because it's, it's only got it goes to one side, hasn't it? So just you just sweep it round to one side. 
OK, we're not going to go anywhere. I'm going to just go through the bundles here, because normally I'd leave Joe now and go and do the bundles. But I'll show you the bundles. So there's the lilac bundle, which is this one, where you get a half a metre of each of the fabrics. Uh, you can't see the twinkle chiffon. Oh, yeah, there it is. There it is down there. And the felt and the embroidery thread and the thread and the instructions and the toy stuffing. And there's enough in there to make three, but only one set of hair. So you might need to buy more felt if you want to do um, more hair. That's 1992 with Shakespeare's sister. 1992. That's only about 10 years ago, isn't yeah, it? That's not long, is it? Oh, no, it's not. Anyway, let's look at the aqua bun. 1992, <laughs> 02, 12. Nearly 30 years ago. 19... <laughs> I only said that because Hannah said, oh, I was one then. <laughs> anyway, then there's the aqua one. 1992, 02, 12. And we're at 18 now, 26 years ago. <gasps> well, I'm not far off 30, is it? Uh, so you get all the fabric, the twinkle chiffon. I'm sorry, we can't sell you the twinkle chiffon at the moment on its own. The instructions, the super soft and cushion filling, the embroidery thread and the real thread. Oh, you've stuffed her already. I forget. Just briefly, have I got time to do the you've belly button? You've got 20 button? seconds. No, I've not then, have I? What are you going to do? Um, come through the back again. Don't oh, close the belly it yet. button. Oh, we'll wait, we'll wait, we'll wait. Bring the needle through, French knot, colonial knot, and just take it through a few times, just so it's locked through the stuffing and it, that will just draw it in a little bit and give it could a, you, an Could you, if you bought Swarovski beads from us, could you sew a Swarovski bead in there? You could. That would look nice. I think that would be... And Neil went a bit further and wanted to put earrings on it as well. I said, don't be stupid, mermaids don't wear earrings. But well, they've got a twinkly belly button. No Claire's accessories under the sleeve. Anyway, you're back at... What? Oh, sorry, um, yeah. Oh, Getting carried away. Ear piercing place yeah. is under the sleeve. Yeah, the ear piercing place under the sleeve. Uh, Joe's back in an hour doing this quilt, and I'll be back in three minutes with um, gorgeousness. We have a brilliant day of birthday celebrations this Saturday with both Mandy Shaw and Anna from Alice Caroline in the studio. 
Mandy starts the weekend with a selection of her amazing birthday and party kits, including birthday bunting and a birthday hanging heart, plus a gorgeous say it with flowers cushion and a king or queen for the day hanging kit. Then at 10 a.m., Mandy's back with her adorable Russian doll designs for both quilt and a cushion. Anna from Alice Caroline starts a show at 9 a.m. when she's creating a stunning tree of life quilt using fabulous Liberty fabrics. You'll love sewing this timeless design. Then Anna wraps up the morning show by creating a practical Alice Caroline tote bag and new log cabin cushion. So tune in for these birthday shows when John has plenty of laughs with Mandy and Anna from 8 a.m. on Saturday the 3rd of February, only on Sewing Quarter. Freeview Channel 78, Sky Channel 678. Now, for this birthday week, every single day, we have a competition. And all you have to do to enter is buy something. If you buy one thing, your name goes into the raffle once. If you buy two, it goes in twice. If you buy 10, it goes in 10 times. Right? Every, and then every day at 11 o'clock, so in an hour's time, I will be announcing yesterday's winner. But if you want to enter into today's competition, then this is the prize. This is the prize. It's that lovely, it's like a portfolio, isn't it, with a cutting mat. And um, is that a pressing? It's kind of got like a pressing matty thing inside it. Scissors, that wonderful book. I love that book, The Versatile Nine Patch. Uh, fabrics and everything. It's just gorgeous. All you have to do is buy something. You're automatically entered into it, right? And then at 11 o'clock, you'll see yesterday's, I'll shout out yesterday's uh, prize. Shout out yesterday's prize winner. Then, now don't forget, we've also got the other, remember we asked you ages ago to make a design and make a block. You saw some of them in the break then, right? We had so many, I can't tell you. Anyway, there's a panel of judges. They use some of the experts, some of the people from the office and everything like that. They whittled it down to eight, right? And these are our eight finalists, right? Now, what we want you to do is we want you to vote for your favourite. There are four prizes. Uh, the first place will be £100 worth of fabric bundle. Second prize is £50 worth of fabric bundle. And then third and fourth prize are £25 bundles. So what you need to do to vote for your favourite, you need to text the word so and then the number of the one that you like best. So say number five is your favorite, right? You have to write on the, where, where you do your writing, so five, and you text it to six, oh, uh, uh, yeah, yeah, six, six, I couldn't remember the number, sorry. Six, six, seven, 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 six, six, seven, seven, seven. You can also, if you look on there, you can also do it by the um, web, but you can only do it at help at sewingquarter.com. Help at sewingcourse.com. Also, you can vote. It doesn't say there, but you can also vote on the Facebook page as well. I didn't know about that. It was only because I was looking there the other day. You can vote on the Facebook page as well. Um, so, well done. Well done, my eight finalists. Well done to everybody. They were fantastic. And uh, somebody asked if we were going to make lots and lots of quilts out of all of them. Because there were so many, we're going to make one quilt out of the best 25, I think it is, or something like that. Anyway. Okay, oh, I've got to tell you very quickly, my so special, there's only eight left. There's only eight left of my so special. If you missed it, go and have a look underneath me on the web now. It's a so special from our nine o'clock so special. It is so special, so special, so, so special, so, so special. Uh, scissors, oh, it's less than eight now. Scissors, snips, thimble, all gold plated colored. £22.99, rose gold colored is what I meant to say, not gold plated colored, rose gold colored. We have a so special every single day. In fact, I'm on for four days, so it'll be me again tomorrow. I wonder what it is tomorrow. What is it tomorrow? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Now, remember, it's either, it's either, not scissors, it's either before nine o'clock or after nine o'clock. It's round nine o'clock, so you have to be there ready for it. I'll always tell you at the start, anyway. Um, I only mention these very, very quickly. Um, now, Mandy Shaw uses something like this all the time. It's like a medical implement, isn't it? Ours are actually made, look, easy quilting needle grippers. Now, I suppose if you're quilting and you're pulling the needle through, you can pull it through like that. If you're changing a needle on your overlocker, yes, or, uh, you know what I mean? You can, that's it's very difficult to get to sometimes, isn't it? Or indeed, where I haven't got any toy stuffing now, you can literally rip your toy stuffing can't cut with them. They're not a blade. They're not a blade. You can't cut with them. They're round edge. So what Joe was saying is, if you pull 
if you pull a little bit of toy stuffing, look, you can push it into the corners and into the, um, they're not sharp at the end, look, no, no. <laughs> no, not sharp at the end. But they also have this little locking device here, you see that? So what do, that goes across like that. There you go. Now yours will be a little bit stiff when you first get it. Okay. Right, there we go. Right. Oh, thank you. I'm going to do a bit of stuffing for you now. So look. <laughs> now they're saying, oh, Johnny looks like you're doing an operation on the mermaid. But, but what Joe, I'll show you the hand. What Joe said is really easy to get a little bit of stuffing and to just get into places like that. 8 99 8 pounds and 99 pence. Oh, there's the still. There's the still. Just thought I'd let you see them in a bit more detail from, um, I'll put those away, from uh, earlier. Right. OK, let's move on then. Brand new. Bra oh, I've only got one. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Right, OK, so this is, how, this is how this will arrive at your house. So I'm going to do the stripey one first. They're premier, oh, they're both stripey, actually. The wider striped one first, right? Um, that's how it will arrive at your house. So don't be thinking, oh, what's John sold me? That's not what I wanted. Look at this. It's just beautiful. This is bamboo all the way around here. Now, what happens is there are instructions. Look, I love this. Look, the, even the top's got a little, like an old-fashioned, look at that. Picnic basket, that reminds me of. Right, OK. And then it's got the handles here if you're going to... Do you know what? Um, they're calling it um, uh, for sewing and everything like that. I'd want to keep, you know, like little baby towels. Not, not towels for babies. Or little um, romper suits. That's what it's saying to me and Hannah as well. Don't baby say, wear romper suits. I don't... <laughs> anyway. You get this instructions inside there of how to do this right but look 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 in here you see here you've got velcro one you've got one touch fastening tabs at the top here and then these are like kind of the um struts to hold the the um so when you're not using it or if you're going away for the weekend and you want to take it with you or oops you just unpull oh hang on i'll do it that way Unpull, that's a long way. Pull those, pull that, let that, and then you see it folds down. It folds down. Space saving. Now, obviously, I've not done that very neatly. You do it a bit neater than that, John Scott. There you go. So, that's the one, that's the foldable uh, grey one. Canvas meets man bamboo, it's called. I love it. Really, really beautiful quality as well. I'll just put that to one side. Then we have this one here. Now, you see, this is how, as I say, the saddle arrives. Got that lovely little um, tab on the top there. Let me move the handle out of the way. Lovely little tab. The hinge is made from the same fabric, the same canvas fabric as well. And then, you see, all you do to open it up is, this is the blue one, right? You pull that open like that, and then you take each of these tabs, push it up underneath the bamboo into the corner. Sorry, turn it around, John and then fix it with the one-touch fastening there. So I'll show you this side here, that corner there. So that goes up there. That goes there. It's got like, um, I don't know what it's called inside. I don't know what that would be. It's not Rigoline. It's something, it's something it feels almost like, um, oh, it'll be a bamboo. It'll be a piece of bamboo. It'll be a piece of bamboo. You see, and then each corner is that, you see what I mean? I'll take the instructions out of that one. I just think they are gorgeous. So th this is the blue one here, the very fine striped is blue one. Uh, the thir uh, they're 73 polyester, 73% polyester, 27% cotton is the, the lining. There you go. No, it's, it says here. Let me just check. Yes, I'll just check that they're all they're both the same. Canvas meets bamboo. I guess they're just saying hello. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 73% polyester, 27% cotton is the fabric. I love those. 
You know the, the, the bags that I say sometimes, you know, they, they open out like a magazine rack, those bags, or, or the ones that open with the strap. These are all from the same range. They're beautiful, aren't they? Look how elegant that is. That's kind of saying to me, you know that lady's book that we used to sell? Um, she was like, uh, she was a lady who was very poorly and then sewing saved her. And she did that gorgeous book through the seasons. Remember that one? So she lives in Scandinavia. Um, I just think that's lovely. And then also those creases, if you did use it up all the time, those creases would come out, wouldn't they? I think they're lovely. I think they're really, really lovely. And they're only 29.99. Look at the way the, the binding around the edge as well, the finish. They would look nice in your living room, but what are you going to put in them? <gasps> well, I don't know. I've not been to your living room before, so I don't know. Um, well, you said to me, oh, you can come, John, as soon as the radiators are put in, right? She kept, first thing she said when she got in the car the other day, oh, the plumber didn't arrive, the radiators aren't in yet, you can't come in. I know, Munch's brother let her down. Right, these are, oh, which one next? Brand new. Brand new, brand new. These are cute, aren't they? These are so elegant. Let's do large first. Let's, oh, it's got the medium on this one. I, I've only got two, I've only, only got two, so I've also got the medium and the small. Now, the different colors, obviously the medium one is this kind of mushroom taupe, oh, they are taupe, taupe color, right? Um, but now, this has got, it's not heavy, but it's got weight to it. It's got lovely weight to it. Is that real suede, do we think, there? Or suede it. Oh, 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 nice, look. Yeah, so it's suede, it is a suede, yeah. It is a suede tab. Oh, yes, yeah, so to, you need to know that is definitely suede. It is from a leather, yeah. I like this. I like anything like this. I just think it's lovely. Oh, 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 excuse me. I didn't know it did this. Hang on a sec. Oh, now, hang on. I could dump. Um, now I haven't broken it. They do come out, but I don't know. You see, so what you can do is you could, you could take this one out and you could have two very large compartments there. I think if you took that one out, these might not work there. But you can play with them, can't you? Oh, there you go. There you go. It does work. So you could put your scissors maybe in there and then you've got a bigger, bigger one there. I wonder if they come out as well. I like this. £28.99. pence. Oh, yes, I'm liking this. I love anything like this. I just think it's just... Um, would help put my glasses on. Oh, hang on. That'll be Hayley going, why didn't John know about that? Does he not do prep in the morning? That's what it's going to be, isn't it? Yeah, there you go. There you go. Love it. £28.99. Did you remember to put the felts on, Hannah? Right, so you know the single felt sheets from the last hour? They're now underneath me there on the website. If you want to order the individual sheets. Oh, is it? it? Apparently, I've got something to tell you about the woods now. Eco, environmentally friendly. What wood? Rubber wood. What from a rubber tree? From a tropical? It might be rubber plant then. It might be from a rubber plant. It's nice. I like that. There's a shop in Chiswick. I don't know if it's still there. Like the eco shop. And it's owned by somebody incredibly famous, like Colin Firth or something like that. And that's full of gorgeousness, thing like that. But I have to tell you, there's nothing in that shop for £28.99. I like that. I think that's lovely. Really nice. OK, so that's the medium one with the taupe topping. Topping. Now I'm thinking of cake. Are there any, there's no cake. There's no cake left. No, um, what are those little cakes that, cupcakes that uh, Neil's mum made? None of those left. Yeah, the, 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 you know the board that a cake comes on? That's there with all crumbs on it. And I noticed one person's got a piece of cake and wrapped it in cling film and it's in the fridge. Right, okay. £19.99 for the small blue one. Exactly the same. It's got the leather tab. Oh, I like these. Obviously, you can take that's just one of those things, gel thingies that you're just travelling. I think that's lovely. 
Oh, now Robert Wood's a member of the Maple family, I'm being told now. I think that, I, isn't that elegant? There's something, I'd love that as a present. You know when you buy me the um, Teflon ironing sheet, Hannah? Could it be there? I think that's really lovely. Lovely colour of blue on the top as well. I must get on, I must get on, look, but... <clears throat> they're gorgeous, they are. They really, they look like design, you know, something you've got from those designer stores, you know what I mean? Oh, it just says assortment box blue. Thank you, I love those. Now, if you're watching yesterday, Vicky was there, Vicky stepped in to um, cover Natasha, Natasha wasn't very well again yesterday. Um, they're so special yesterday, was a bag very, very similar to this, was it not? In fact, it was exactly the same, but different fabric. What fabric was hers yesterday? I watched it, I should know. That wasn't her spotty yesterday. Oh, buttons, right. Now look at this, you see. They've called this blue dandelion. That's the Pointel design, isn't it? That's the, it's a different fabric, I think, though. Yeah, down down to these. And, and, when we, and when we did them, I said, what's the time, Mr. Wolf? And everyone went, what are you on about now? Now, Prim have called it, Dan. No, they didn't name it after me, obviously. Anyway, this, this bag is gorgeous, right? First sip. Oh. <laughs> so if you're taking your tailor's chalk or your glass-headed pins on holiday with you, or your ruler, no, look at this, it's brilliant, right? Look. look I tell you, you'd like this. Lucy Brennan like this. She loves see-through pockets, doesn't she? So there's... Um... Oh. Now, oh, hang on. Obviously, the, the, the accessories don't come with it, but I'll just show you, right? So that was big enough to put a ruler in there. Then look at this pocket here. Look. Um, now, you know what I think would be brilliant for, is if you're making little blocks of something. Oh, sorry, is the bamboo box big enough for magazines? I'm just going to get a magazine. There's a magazine here. Oh, it's coming now. It's coming now. Sorry, Mandy, I didn't see that message. I'll carry on with the bag. I'll carry on with the bag. I'll just put it in like that. Easy. Right, carry on with the bag. Sorry, carry on with the bag. Right, so then there's this one here. Now, what was I saying? When you're doing your hexes or your English... Um, Paper piecing, wouldn't it be fantastic? Because you, you can't do them all in one sitting, can you? Keep all, so you keep all the one colour in there, one colour in there, one size in there, one size in there. So they're separate pockets, look. Fantastic. And then the other side of that pocket is exactly the same with the thing. And then look at this. You don't get all of these in it, obviously. You don't get these in it. We're just showing you how you can put things in there. You can also put your scissors in there if you wanted to. OK, then there's another big pocket there, another big pocket there. Then, see, look at that. I think this is brilliant. More big pockets. And it all fits nice in there. But also, there's enough room on the edge there. If you want to put a ruler or your scissors along the edge there, there's enough room there as well. How much is this? 39 99 It's lovely. Then you've got the zip that opens all the way out. And your handle. It's nice, it's very sleek, isn't it, that one? Doing it the wrong way, I know. To go that way. Oh, what's that there? Oh, it's the label. I like that, 39.99. The Pointel fabric. Right, OK. Oh, what's that pincushion that's just arrived on the desk? It's been there the whole time, apparently. Uh, it's a premiere. Premiere, premiere, premiere. Oh, I like the... Oh, this fabric matches something else that's coming up later in this hour. How cute is this? Oh, and this is lovely, so nobody can nick your scissors. The, all that comes in it. The scissors are coming in it. Well, they have to be, because they're attached to it. Now, you see, when we were at college, we used to do, we used to do this with elastic, so that nobody cut, nicked your, pinky, and your cutting shears, right? That is what a lovely Mother's Day gift. Lovely Easter gift. Oh, it's only $8.99. So it's a pin cushion with that lovely fabric on. Now, if you like that fabric, I've got a gorgeous box coming up later with that fabric in a second. But look, the, the scissors are there included as well. 
Oh, I'm loving that. That's cute. Yours, when it comes, it comes in, obviously, the plastic box. $8.99. That's lovely, isn't it? Oh, I do like that. It's only $8.99. Fantastic. Like I say, Mother's Day. When is Mother's Day? February something, isn't it? Should look it up, shouldn't we? Or is it March? Oh, blimey. Didn't you make me that straight away? March the 11th. Um, and when's Easter? That, I'm not very good with... I've got Easter cards as well and everything. Anyway. Done that, done that, done that, done that, done that. Am I going over there now? That's nice, isn't it? That, I'm not doing it. I'm doing this next. Oh, you said the box. You said if you said about the fabric, you said... Yeah, it was, because it's lovely. We'll do this next. Look at the fabric, right? The pink cushion fabric. Look. Prim retro grey sewing basket. It's lovely. Look at the shape. A gorgeous fabric, isn't it? Got the magnetic fastener. That's an antique. I noticed, I watched, was watching yesterday, and Vicky went, yes, John Scott, can't tell the difference between these two either. I was like, oh, well, that's nice. Only your second shift, young lady. Uh, anyway, antique... Uh, uh, Magnetic clasp. That's cute, isn't it? Look at the feet. I'll just twist to look. Isn't it? Like, do you know it's, this is all padded? This has got padding in it around the side. I like that fabric. I think that fabric's gorgeous. Look at the shape of it. Really, really lovely shape, isn't it? $39.99. Now, I'm going to open it. The things inside you don't get. I've got, I've got goodies that I've got inside, but I just, I'll go through all that in a second, actually. That is lovely. Oh, look at the hinges as well. Look at that. They're like antique hinges, aren't they? Now, if you love that fabric, I'll just turn it up like that for you. The scissor fabric matches perfectly with the pincushion. Nice, isn't it? This is padded as well, by the way. The top's padded. Look, you can see there. The top's all padded as well. Nice. £39.99. and pence. Right, I'll take all the things out. Now, um, these don't come in it, obviously. These are the things I'm showing you during the hour. I've got to do that. Oh, yes. I love the inside. Of the, the inside look, it's beautifully lined. The workmanship in that box is exquisite, isn't it? And then, of course, look, you've got that lovely little elasticated pocket, like in the vanity case there. And you've got your pin cushion there. And your tray to go on the top there. You just put your scissors in there. It's lovely, isn't it? That's very elegant. That's a very, very elegant sewing box. No good for Hannah, no. It's lovely. I just think it's really, um, I, just, I just love it. Yeah, it's very, very beautifully designed and made that. The, the finish on it is exquisite. Okay. It's got that, um, I want to say, like, um, what's shaped like that? Not a log basket, but there's something that's shaped like that, isn't it? Okay, I mean, let's move on. What do you want to go to next, then? Oh, right. Now, um, this, I'm supposed to be wearing this as a necklace, right? It's only because I've got a very, very, very big head. I could wear it like that, couldn't I? Yes. Um, what it is, it's so, it's four ninety nine, right? It's just, um, it's a, uh, you know, at the side of the sewing machine, when you sew it and you just cut your threads, cut your threads, cut your threads. This is brilliant for just slicing the threads. There is a blade inside there. This, we only had it in uh, once. It flew out the door. We've just got it. In fact, this should have been on, on um, the birthday day, birthday, birthday day, but we uh, ran out of time. At £4.99. Now, 
Uh, the first question that Ginger Mike just said is, oh, can you take it on an aeroplane, right? Uh, we, uh, when uh, we did it on air, when Natasha did it on air, she asked the question, lots of you said, it all depends on the airline. So please, because some airlines, you can take scissors up to a two inch blade, can't you? But we do say, check, if you do want to take it on, if it's in your suitcase, it's fine, isn't it? But if you take it, if you're going to do sewing on the aeroplane, just check with your airline. Well, you can't take it on a cruise either. Oh, so you can take it on a cruise. OK. And I went, it's like on a cruise, isn't it? I was like, mm, do they check you when you get on a cruise? But yeah, if you're taking your sew, of course, Anna goes on lots of cruises and does her sewing, doesn't she? Yes. I don't think that works, because, you know, uh, Derek, the upside down ears who works with us here, he works on a cruise channel. They, he, he hardly gets to go on a cruise. So I don't think you're going to send you, are they, Hannah, just for mentioning it? Oh, I need a new hoover. My, um, my hoover broke down yesterday. I had to go next door and, well, they're away on holiday. I had to nick theirs and do my hoovering. Well, I don't know what hoover I'm going to get. Well, I was going to get the GTEC one, but I've decided I don't want that. We got that one. We got one of those in the pop-in. The one that's broken down, again, is a Dyson. So I'm thinking I might go for a Mealy. Mealy. And me, all brands are different. It's a personal opinion, not the opinion of the channel. Anyway, 4 99 that is. It's brilliant. And it will fit around your neck. I could get that, but you could unknot it and put your own ribbon on it if you wanted to. Uh, oh, there it is. There it is. In its packet, that's how it'll arrive at your house. What's next? Right, that, that, I love this, right? Hey, do not do that. Are you watching? I need that music, you know, when the Apollos take off. It's not brilliant. It's the Prim Love Needle Twister with sewing and darning needles. You finish your sewing. Little magnet inside, you see, and it just holds them all in place. Nine pounds and fifty. You get all the needles in it. You do get the needles in it. That's lovely. Again, a fabulous gift. If you know somebody who's a sewist or a sewer. Nine pounds and fifty pence. And then when you put it away, there you go. Seals away nicely. I think that's brilliant. And also look at the colour, the colour range. The colour range all match beautifully. They don't come together. That's OK, the thread cutter is the one going across the bottom, and this is the one going across here. Right, I've also got something else in that pattern as well, that colour as well. Oh, good. What, what's the th lots of people, thank you. For you. Oh, Laurie says what? I won't read it. Laurie's trying out different hoovers, and she's telling me which one's the best one. I've never heard of that one, actually. Uh, Love range from Prim. This is the uh, corner and edge shaper. It's like a Derek the Dobber. It's a posh Derek the Dobber. And again, you could put a ribbon through it if you wanted to, where it is a necklace. 3 99 I love the fact that they match. So this is the thread cutter I'm bringing in by the side here, you see. Look. No, it's because one's, it's because one's inside the, the plastic, that's why. And then on the back of the pattern there, it's how you can use it. It's got a flat edge and the pointer and the curved edge. Ooh. 3 99 Nice. Right, moving on. I've got three other things. Oh, no. Yeah, three other things on this side. Bobbin box. Now, um, not particularly glamorous, but something we all need, a bobbin box. Keep your bobbins in there. 32 bobbins will fit in there, look. Nice. Got the little hinges there. It's got the clasp on that side. I'm not going to take it off because the cardboard, I'd have to rip the cardboard to get it off. £4.49. pence. It's really good as well because obviously with the clear lid, you can see the colour of bobbin that you need straight away, can't you? Rather, I kept all of mine. I've got this uh, kind of Indian wall hanging. It's got like little pockets on it. I just keep all my bobbins in there. 
as you do. Four pounds and 49 pence. Yeah, if you don't have an Indian wall hanger with pockets, then get one of those for 4 49 Oh, I was going to finish the other side, but I'll go, to, I'll go to the lamp if you want me to. Is it switched on? Oh, there you go. Pure light, ultra quad spectrum desk lamp, 49 pounds and 99 pence. You have four different color tones of light. Oh, here you go. Sorry, I will just go to the lamp in a minute. It's not, that makes it look like it's taller than me. It's actually this height, just so you know. Right, okay. Um, four different, I don't know if you can see this on your telly. Can you see that on your telly? Oh, hang on. You can't, oh, can't really see it. It's got four different uh, settings. I'll show you. It's got like little... So you got your mode. Oh, so you can sort of see it change there. You can see it more change. Look, see? Can you see how it changes? Warm, natural, daylight, and cool. You can, can you see that on your telly? Let's change it. And then this is brightness and they're making it not quite so bright there. Oh, one left. That flew out, didn't it? I love it. Oh, look, you see, what I love is look at this here, right? This is smooth, but it still moves. Like, you know, the ones that are um, ridged. I think tomorrow Neil's going to have Chris in the studio giving him words. 49.99. I love that. I'm not going to twist it around too much because obviously the light will blind you at home. And there's only one left. I'll switch it off then. Bye, lamp. Now, you've seen these in blue. I've never seen them in pink. They're weights to put on your patterns. They did, the pink ones apparently sold out very quickly before Christmas. Got they open at the side there. Pop them out the side. I don't want to break the packet. Look. I see that. See, I want you to see how, how the weight of them. Oh, oh, that went a bit out of focus then, didn't it? Went right out of focus then, Timothy. Look, uh, now what, what it is, if you're placing your paper pattern on some fabric, you don't want to pin it, or you've got a breeze coming through the window, or you've got dodgy air conditioning like we've got here. This is fantastic, just for weighting your paper pattern down. We did them in blue, and we did them in pink, and the pink sold out, we've only just got them back in. I don't know what's in them, they're nice and heavy though, it feels like ball bearings. I can't, yeah, do you want me to? No, I'm not doing juggling now. Don't pay me enough to juggle. I could have done, but, you know. Right, we, you saw this yesterday. No, it wasn't in yesterday. Day before, if you want. The quick unpick. With the lights. We love this. An LED light so it doesn't get hot. Then, uh, hang on, glass. There you go. You get, it comes with batteries. Uh, it's just ideal, isn't it? Because we all use a quick and pick all the time. How often are you like, oh, I can't quite see that stitch? Because most of the time you're stitching in the same colour as your fabric, aren't you? You're going to be able to see your stitches perfectly with that, aren't you? £7.99. There it is in its packet. Oh. Hey, it's just coming up. There it is. Oh, I like the, I like the way they've done starburst on the, lamp, on the light. OK, are we ready? Do you know who would love this? Crazy Lorraine would love this. Lots of ladies that go to the Festival of Quilts have these. 
Now, the, for putting, you can put anything in it, but it's very good for a sewing machine, isn't it? There's not a sewing machine in it now, obviously. Isn't it brilliant? Isn't it lovely? $69.99. It's the Prim Large shop, Sewing, not shopping, sewing trolley. You can put shopping in as well if you wanted to. You can take it to the shops. There's all lots of crazy people who live in um, Hannah's village. It wouldn't, they wouldn't bat an eyelid at this. Oh, now, can I just say, when's the snow due? It's next Tuesday, isn't it, right? I drove all the way, no, no, it's not, not unrelated, right? Because I was driving, drove all the way from, my, it was cold in my village, drove all the way to Hannah's village. In Hannah's village and Hannah's village alone, the gritters were out. And they went up and down the road twice in the village and then disappeared off while I'm waiting for 15 minutes for Hannah this morning. And, and um, anyway, and I'd looked on WhatsApp and she'd been awake at five to five. So I thought, well, she must be awake. No, alarm went off. She switched the phone off, fell asleep again, didn't she? Just as well I've texted. Anyway, look. All that room in the... Then you've got the pockets on the side with zips. Oh, looks like a, a mouth, doesn't it? Like, looks like the Rolling Stones T-shirt there. Then you've got another one on the other side here. Oh, what's that got in the pocket? Hmm, don't have... Oh, see, the, 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 the... Lovely. And then you've got this great big pocket on the front here. With more compartments and elastic. And um, then another pocket on the front here. There's so much room for so much stuff. 69 99 is brilliant, isn't it? And it looks gorgeous, doesn't it? And it will fit. It won't fit the 680 in, but it'll feel, fit a... Uh, um, if you want to know the measurements, I'll, just let me know and I'll do it for you. Um, fit a sewing machine in it. Oops. That's... I think one of them is nine inches, I seem to remember. Nine inches from back to front. The actual bag itself is 14 and a half inches from top to bottom. And it's 17 inches that way across. I should have done all that to you. 17 from there to there, nine from there to there. And did I say 14 and a half from there to there? Fabulous. Okay. Oh, now this, this is brilliant. I was supposed to do this on the birthday show, but like um, the thread cutter, I don't know why I went like that. The thread cutter on the necklace. Um, we ran out of time, didn't do it. This is, this is another of those things I should have invented, really. On one of the very first shows we had, Jennifer Taylor showed us how to do hems, right? And she used a piece of cardboard with a pencil line on it, right? This is the posh version. This is the posh version. Look at this, right? It's called, because you can iron on these, ironing rulers. You get two. You get the 10 by 30, which is this one. And you also get the 5 by 15, which is this one. Now, it's such a simple idea. I can't tell you. But look, something I wish I'd done. Um, we'll have a look at the pictures, because it shows you all the things you can use it for. It's one of those things I wish I'd invented. So what you do is, if you're hemming something, you slip the ruler in, you can measure where you can, it's only ever been on air once before and it's sold out, it's sold out. But the joy of it is, is you can iron over the top, put it between your fabrics, you can iron over it. Let me just show you very quickly, I'll turn. Oh no, little Paul stash of fabrics have all gone. Yeah, talk, talk, little Paul, every time he buys trousers or he buys, Or he buys uh, jackets, he has to shorten them. Right, okay, so imagine this is your skirt, or whatever, and you think, oh, it says on the thing, I need a two inch hem or whatever, or a, say a, a three centimetre hem. You go on here, you look here, you've got your three centimetre mark on here. What you can do is you put your fabric under here, you fold this up to your three centimetre mark there, Oh, this isn't, obviously isn't cut straight. This one, yours will be cut straight. For, iron across here, and you know... No, no, this isn't going to melt. You can iron on this. That's why it's called an ironing ruler. 
That's why it's called an ironing ruler. But there's two, there's, look, there's more measurements on this side. If you're thinking, oh, John, it'd take me forever to do a skirt hem like that. Well, on this side, on this side, look, I'll do it the right way up for you. We've got the one to nine centimeters on this side. So again, what you can do is you put it, put it under there. Well, no, I'll tell you about the holes in a second, right? So if you need a three centimeter hem again, you may line up your fabric, iron it so you press this seaming in, and then it's all brilliantly in place. Yeah, loads of people coming for this. The little dots are for if you don't want to iron it, if you want to measure a three, a three centimeter hem. I haven't got a pencil now, so. Oh, hang on, what's this under here? Oh, that's not meant to be there, I don't think. Oh, I've got, I've got a biro, I'll do it with a biro. I shouldn't really, but I'll do it with a biro. Okay, so if you're thinking, oh, I need to measure a three inch hem. Oh, because it's not gonna work now on the fabric, is it? But look, 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 you see, just mark it, there you go. Oh, you won't see that on the telly, here you go. What are you pointing at, what are you pointing at? Inside the bag, you sure it was this one? Or the other one you put pens in? It was the other one, I know, but you might put them in this one as well. There we go, well done, Christopher. I knew we employed you for a reason. Uh, right, so if you want to measure, say, a four centimetre hem, all you do is you match that up against side your fabric, mark through the holes. I don't know if you're going to be able to see that. And then you've got your, so basically, you'd then be able to join the dots to create your hem line. And then this one here for little, for little, you know, for sleeves and everything like that. It is brilliant. Let me look at what the pictures, what other pictures have they got here? Uh, hems of trousers, hems of jackets, uh, hems of skirts. Not quite sure what that picture is. Don't know what number three is. I just think it's brilliant. Oh, hang on, A plus B, they said on that one. But it basically does all the things I've just told you. General purpose ironing rulers. Let's see what it says in the back here. Facilitates the preparation for sewing of all sorts of hems. Measuring, folding, ironing in one. Can be used on both sides. Front ideal for shortening hems on sleeves and trousers. The reverse for long straight hems. Can be used repeatedly. Uh, oh, and you can put it on a maximum iron, three. Right, over half of those have gone already. How brilliant is that? How brilliant is that? $7.99. Uh, well, the thing is, why didn't I think of that? We've done it for years. We've done that, that for years and years and years. Why didn't I think of inventing that? John, oh, okay. No, uh, John, now I looked at those, but they sold out in John Lewis's. I know that the, my next door neighbours have got the pink hetty. It was very good, but they didn't have any in John Lewis's. But I'm going to go on Monday because I need to get some more sunglasses. So I'll look at them all on Monday. Thank you, though, Julie. Um, these are flying out. At $7.99, these are absolutely flying out. Look at my messy desk. Mike upstairs will be having apoplexies. There you go. We're done now. We're done now. It's tidy now. No, I've got the project here. Okay, they're going to sell out. They're going to sell out. Now, that's part of the set dressing, <laughs> by the way, but I'll put that in Paul's little stash down there. Which next? Oh, now, do you know what? I showed this as many days as I possibly can. It's brilliant. Um, I've got a little ruler here. If you are using, uh, and you're cutting things out, and you don't want to move the fabric. Right, I'm going to have to do a bit of pretending, a bit of acting now, and do some acting, right? So you don't want to move the fabric because you're being precise, you see. This is brilliant. So say you've cut this one out here and that one out there, and you're thinking, oh, I need to cut out this one now. Rather than moving the fabric and the ruler and everything, you can just literally spin it around like that and then cut out there. That's not a brilliant example because it's all reflecting the lights at you, isn't it? But Carol messaged in the other day and she's got one of these and she's a professional cake maker. She puts the cake on it. Yeah, well, I'm saying professional. 
Well, no, because um, Sally in my street, what number does she live at? Five, is she number five? She's a professional cake maker. She's even had an extension built to her house because she's so busy to make the cakes in and decorate them. And she does whatever you want. She's done all sorts. She did Debbie Paver a pair of shoes. Not to wear, obviously, it's a cake for her birthday. Yes, and she made a lovely one for Daniel at Pavers, who was the director, used to be the director at Pavers for his birthday, for his 30th birthday. £32.99. OK. When's your birthday, Ginger Mike? Oh, it's ages away. I'll be on holiday. I'll be on holiday. And is it a big birthday? Is it a big birthday? Oh, 41 this year he is. £32.99. It's brilliant. I've got all the angles on it. Got, it's, um, it's got a um, self-healing, self-healing, self-healing. When yours arrives, it'll come in two pieces like this. Don't panic. You've got the, this is a tatty one that we use. All our designers use this one. This is our model one. It's got the non-slip base on there. You slip the non-slip base down like that, and then the, the top one just comes to a little circle. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. There you go. Now, if you've got one of those, you're thinking, oh, I'm just going to go off to a class now. Oh, yep, look. I've lost every, I lost you. Oh, you're back now, you're back now. Um, it's just to show you the, the um, you, to get it in, you need to take the, the, the straps out, that's all. This bag is brilliant. You don't get the accessories in it. We just showed it to you. You get the pin cushion. You do get the pin cushion, that one there. But you don't get all these accessories. Just to show you how, you've got your pockets there, your little needle um, holder there. Yeah, it's not a case, it's just a bit of felt to put your needles in. Then you've got your little pocket. Oh, I could have done cutting out. There's a rotary cutter, look. And then the place for your spools and yeah. And what was it you dreamt about last night, Hannah? Advising somebody to use Wonder Clips in a dream. And then look at this. There you go. That's nice. I've not seen that one before. That's like a stripology, but circles. Oh, I've got a circle cutter coming up in a minute, anyway. But then there's also, you know when you make your blocks? I haven't got the, I haven't got the blocks here. But you could put them um, either underneath that to keep them nice and flat. Or if they're smaller, look, that's a mesh. That's a mesh holder, look. You could put it inside there. I've got fishnets on my hand, look. Oh, dear, my hand looks dreadful, doesn't it? Like little old, wrinkly old hand under there. I don't advise doing that. I love this. Love this bag. And... You've got the strap, you've got the strap as well to make it into a shoulder strap. The zip that goes right the way around the edge. And how glamorous are you going to look turning up to your class like that? Nice, isn't it? Very professional that'll make you look. Right, okay. Now, that's not part of this. Right, okay. I haven't got time to do a demo, I'm afraid. I've got so much else to show you. Uh, now, what day? And Natasha's done this already this week, hasn't she? Oh, on the birthday day, one of, we had to choose our favourite tools. And this is one of um, Natasha's favourite. If you want to cut the perfect circle or the perfect half circle, then this is the, uh, the implement for you. But we've done a little bundle for you here of the actual cutter. I'll show, I'll show you. So what you get is you get, this is the template. You can do uh, two inch to 12 inch circles, but that's including a quarter of an inch seam allowance. All you do is you fold your fabric in half and you line your fabric up here. You line your fabric up with the, the line here that says fold, right? And then you literally take the cutter, you take your cutter, um, the, take that, the um, safety uh, plate off. The blade doesn't engage, you see, until you press it down. There it is. Okay, and then what you do is you literally put it into, you literally put it into the groove, you press it down, I'm not going to do it now, you press it down, the, the, the blade engages, and then you push it round there like that, and it cuts the perfect, what it is, is the groove actually goes beyond the line, because obviously you need the blade to go further than the line itself. So you get all of this, right, you get all of this, but what we've done today is we've also bundled the spare, the spare blade in with it. We've actually bundled the spare blade in. The blade is really, really, really easy to change. All you do is you screw the top off like that. You twist that round. Oh, this one has, I guess there you go. Twist it round. 
Right, well, be careful, because there's the blade. Then, oh, that's the inside there with the spring. And all you do is you get your new blade. I should put my glasses on when I'm doing this, really, shouldn't I? Put your new blade, you pop it in there, twist it round, put the top back on. It's that simple. That simple, but dispose of the blade sensibly. All of that for £34.99. Right. This is one of my favourite items, this one coming up now. This bag is brilliant. It's also by Omnigrid, the same as the one that says, you know, the one there that we had all the other things in. But this one's for your rulers and, like, your cutting mats. What you get here is you get a, a pocket at the bottom, which is that mesh, so you can keep things in there, keep things safe in there. Then what I love is down the side here, you've got one, two, three, four pockets, right? This one, one touch fastening. Keep your little ruler in. Then this one here, this is what I love, right? This one doesn't just go from here to here. It goes from here to here. So you can fit a longer ruler in there. And then this one goes from here to here with your even longer ruler in. That's what I love about this bag. And then this one. So if you, if you, haven't, if you're, if you have to um, work in your bedroom or something like that, this would be a brilliant way to store your rulers. Just slide it under your bed. You see that there is the whole length of that ruler. That pocket is the whole length of that ruler. There's another pocket here with a square ruler in it there. And then there's the zip right the way across the top here, which has got room for... You cut him out. Isn't that brilliant, right? Then what can happen is you can either, when it's full, obviously it's gone all soft and floppy now. Um, you can carry it like this, like a portfolio. You can carry it like this. Yeah, or you can put the strap across here, there and there, I'm not going to do it, and wear it across like that, like a messenger bag, like that way. Isn't it fantastic? I just think that's fantastic. £34.99. One of my favourites. That's, and now it's only just back in stock. When I had it on the first time, sold out, we got it back in stock for the first day of the... What day was the birthday? Wednesday. Wednesday. Wednesday, Wednesday, Wednesday. Yeah, because it's Friday today, because I've had a day off, it feels like it's a Monday. OK, now I've got... To, oh, now these boxes got to be very, very... Oh! There's an extra one! Aren't there? I thought I only had three last time. Anyway. You've done what? I don't want to open the other one. I don't want to open this one. Uh, anyway, look, it's got elastic straps around it. So the top comes off, and then you have these really lovely loom elastic straps there. Hold everything in place. Now, that one is one big box with a divider. You can't see it. There's a divider in the middle of there. You can create two portions. I'm rushing because I've run out of time. £22 at 99 pence. Then the next one is this one. Now, these are made by Simplistic. Good quality. Really good quality. Again. Now, this is large. What was that last one there, then? The last one was called Craft Store It Away by Simplistic divided container, and then this is large general container, this one. This one doesn't have any dividers in it. Still has the elastic to hold the lid on, though. And then the next one down is this cute one, isn't it? This is the medium. I'd love to see the small. I wonder how small. Chris. Um, this is the medium container. I love this one. Just cute, isn't it? And also, uh, also, I need to tell you, you can, you see the, they've got special um, feet on them. They do stack. They do stack. So that will obviously stack with, um, these all stack together. And then you can put two smaller ones on there. And the corner um, little um, feet means you can stack them all together. It's brilliant. And then one, last but not least, this was the most popular last time. So they take the elastic straps off, take the top off. This one's like a thread divider. Simplicity horizontal thread storage, £12.99. It's really, really, really good quality plastic, this. And then the, the, the roof, no, the top. Slips on like that. Put the elastics round. 
Castix round. Not going anywhere, is it? £12.99. £12.99. pence. <sighs> then I've got my what? Oh, crikey, in two minutes. I've got this. One blade, £3.50. Right. Very quickly, because I've only got two minutes. On, on the first day of the birthday, these were my so special in the morning. Fantastic, fantastic. I've got a few left. I've got a few left. This one, is, this is such a fantastic price, right? So you get the, the, the spool rack and 60 threads. Look at the saving. Look at the saving. Guterman threads, £26 you're saving. £99.99. And 99 pence. You're saving £26. Pounds. Workroom Essential, again, it's that lovely, really lovely wood. It's Millwood, it's branded. It's a Millwood uh, stand there. Now, they're fantastic. Now, maybe you've got your threads and you want to, a stand. Which one first? This one first, this is brilliant. This can hang on your wall, this one. At 120 spools, 27 pounds and 99 pence. Wood. Beautiful, gorgeous. Haley's painted hers already. Haley's got one of these. She's painted hers. Twenty-seven pounds and ninety-nine pence to store. Let me move that one out of the way. To store one hundred and twenty. Right now, if you're looking at this one, thinking, "Oh, I want that one. I want that one," but I don't need all the threads. I've got my threads. We have it here. Look, seventeen ninety-nine. Oh, okay. Right now, um, I'm being told now. God. Do you know what? We're getting information thrown at us willy-nilly, aren't we, today? If you've missed any... Well, no, because today's won't be there because it's sold out. Uh, if you missed the So Specials, at the end of the birthday week, they will all be on our website in a special... We'll tell you about that at the end of the week. Um, $17.99. Uh, you can buy a plastic one of these for $19.99. This is a wooden one for $17.99. Right, don't go anywhere. Do not, sorry to rush you. Oh, I will do the... We'll do the winner when we come back. We've also got that gorgeous cat quilt. So go nowhere, get yourself a cup of tea. If you bought something yesterday, you might have won a prize. We have a brilliant day of birthday celebrations this Saturday with both Mandy Shaw and Anna from Alice Caroline in the studio. Mandy starts the weekend with a selection of her amazing birthday and party kits, including birthday bunting and a birthday hanging heart, plus a gorgeous say it with flowers cushion and a king or queen for the day hanging kit. Then, at 10am, Mandy's back with her adorable Russian doll designs for both quilt and a cushion. Anna from Alice Caroline starts her show at 9am when she's creating a stunning tree of life quilt using fabulous Liberty fabrics. You'll love sewing this timeless design. Then Anna wraps up the morning show by creating a practical Alice Caroline tote bag and new log cabin cushion. So tune in for these birthday shows when John has plenty of laughs with Mandy and Anna from 8am on Saturday the 3rd of February, only on Sewing Quarter. Freeview Channel 78, Sky Channel 678. Right here at Sewing Quarter's first birthday. I cannot believe how fast that year's gone by. I hope you've learnt absolutely loads. I hope you've bought some exciting stuff. Happy birthday. When I first got into quilting, about 10 years ago now, all the fabrics I'd used up until then, sort of patterned fabrics were always really standard stripes or spots. And then to discover all the prints that were really out there and then to find Tula Pink, um, I instantly loved everything she did. Her work, I mean, the, the illustrations within the prints are amazing but then also you have all the colours she uses they're so bold and vibrant and to find somebody that can blend the two the illustration and the colour I just think her work is so inspirational she's one of those designers I look at her fabric and immediately want to create something with it and want to to begin making a lot of the things I've made with my Tula stash have been gifts for other people so these cushions were a gift for my mum this Christmas. Um, I absolutely love this range of fabric. Her designs are whimsical, but with an edge. If they're not cutesy, um, and all the details in this fabric I particularly loved, and so did my mum. So she got these for Christmas. 
And because I loved it so much, I am also working on a quilt version of it for me, which hopefully will be done by this coming Christmas. Join Tula for her Sewing Quarter debut on Wednesday, the 7th of February, only on Sewing Quarter, Freeview Channel 78 and Sky Channel 678. Two things before I start this gorgeous quilt. I've got to announce yesterday's winner. I've got to, to what it is, is we have this daily prize at the moment. All you have to do to enter is to buy something. If you buy one thing, your name goes in once. If you buy two things, your name goes in twice. Um, yesterday, hundreds of you bought things yesterday. All your names went into a hat. And the one lucky winner who wins yesterday's prize is Maureen Holdsworth. Maureen Holdsworth, you've won all those goodies that you saw there. Oh, that looks good. Oh, oh, I love that. Is that a sewing box like a bird house? Oh, we love that one. Loads of goodies in there. Well done, Maureen. So, Maureen, now, to be in tomorrow's, all you have to do is buy something. I've got, have we got a still of tomorrow's present? Present prize. Look. So if you buy something today, up until 8 o'clock tomorrow morning, your name will go in the hat. However many items you buy, your name goes in that many times. And you could be with the child. So at this time tomorrow, I'll be shouting out another name that's won all of those. That's fantastic. Is that all I had to do with something? Oh, yes, I've got this oh, so it's selling so well, this sewing machine bundle. Oh, which one do you mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, the, uh, we've got a special deal. Got a special deal on at the moment. Um, for today, oh, how many do we have to start with? Okay, so more than half, well, a bit more than that, about 60% of these have gone already, right? It's the Elna 680 machine, which always sells for £999, but today, or until stocks last, we'll see you, Joe, using it later, because this is the machine she, well, she's not going to do that much sewing in this last hour, but this is the machine she always has. She's got one, and so's Lucy. Basically, you still pay 999 for the machine, but we give you £58 and £97 worth of gifts. Gifts, Or you can look at it as a discount of £58 and £97. K-Facet Fat Quarter, a K-Facet uh, Bold Blooms hardback book, and some wadding. Brilliant. Fantastic. Okay. Hi, John. What's the wooden tool called? Love watching you. Keep up the great work at the banter too. No, uh, which wooden tool, my love? Let me know what you mean, uh, Rachel. Rachel, let me know what you mean. Do you mean the wooden turning set that we had earlier in Joe's kit? Uh, let me know. Right. We're very, very... Joe's coming on in a minute, but I'm going to show you the fabrics first. We're really, really excited. About a year ago, we did the Macawa cat fabric. All brand new. It's all brand spanking new. There's the quilt, there's the quilt. Joe is going to take you through the bundle to create that kit later. But now, I need to tell you something, right? We're gonna sell, we've got three, three lots of things to tell you about this hour. You can either buy the quilt with the instructions, the quilt, hang on, I'll start again. The fabric to make the quilt, because there's two bundles, aren't there? So the first one is the fabric to make the quilt with the instructions and the binding, right? The top, the quilt top. The other bundle is half a metre of each of those fabrics, apart from the panel. So, so the first bundle is everything you need for that quilt, including the panel, including the instructions, including the thread, to make the front, right? You, the wadding and the backing is in it. Or there's a bundle that we'll put together half a metre of all of these gorgeous fabrics, not the panel, or you can buy as much of each of these fabrics, which I'm going to go through now, and the panel as you want, as individuals. So th there's two bundles and there's half metres. I'm just telling you now, so you don't start buying half metres and think, oh, why didn't you tell me about the bundle? So one bundle is the quilt front with the panel and the instructions. The other is half a metre of each of these, and then the rest is all this. Now, I've just got to point out a couple of things to you. We've got a different fabric in the middle there, and we've got a different fabric here. Is that, was that it? Was it just those two? Oh, yes, because around here, we've got white florals, so the white... I'll show you anyway as we go through it. 
Right, I'm warning you now, people have been ringing and ringing and ringing and asking to buy this already. Here we go. This is the panel. This is the brand new Makawa Kitty panel. If you've never bought a panel from us before, it's a, you get the full 60 centimeters of the panel, but if you buy two, three, four, five, they come joined together. They do come joined together if you buy a panel, right? Loads going in baskets. Right, let's go through it, because I need you to tell me what kind of cats these are. Right, here we go. Can we come in a little bit closer? Can we come in closer? So I want you to see all the panel, because there's loads of going in baskets already. I have got hundreds, but there are hundreds of you on the phone lines. Look. Uh, look. That's a chicken with a... Uh, no, a chicken sitting on a cat. That's good. Well, no, because that's like Norman, you see. I've got a racing pigeon that comes to my garden, right? And it's huge. It's beautiful, peacocky blue colour. Norman sits with it while it eats its um, thing. And then the other day, or last summer, he got very excited and tried to jump on the pigeon, right? But didn't know what to do. <laughs> Norman's my cat, by the way. So he jumped on the pigeon, was going like this, and the pigeon just, like, pushed Norman to one side and carried on eating. Anyway. Yeah. Okay, I need to warn you that half of these have gone already. Half of these are in baskets already. So let's carry on down to the lovely little house. Oh, sorry. If, if there's a queue on the phone, I do apologise. Stay where you are. Stay where you are. The call centre will be with you as soon as they can. So we've got the house. Loving these flowers. Look. And there he is looking very... Oh, is that a he or a she? I think that's a he, that one. Looking very, very happy in front of his house. Right? And then I'll move it along like that for you. Look. That's like Top Cat, isn't it? A bit like Top Cat. All the friends... All the different colours of Top Cat there. Then I'll move it down. Oh, look. So there's no cats on there, but there's just the, the garden. Oh, I love those trees. Wouldn't it be lovely if life was really like that? And then, washing line. Now, it, no, the mouse is talking to him and he's listening. I'm a bit deaf in this ear, he's saying. Just speak up a little bit. Vroom. That's what he's doing. Come, come close. He's doing this. Come close the mouse, I can't quite hear. Vroom. Like that. I've seen Norman play with them. Anyway, then we've got this one here. Oh, look. Look, 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 look. Oh. Um. <laughs> uh, to me, I have to say, I'm not going to say. I'm not going to say. But I think that's, you know, Jane and Julie, that is, I think, really. Uh, then we've got a cat having its pudding. Uh, not pudding, it's fish. Then we've got a cat on its birthday. You see, Norman and Nelly have never had that. I've never had presents. I know, when Ken and Barbie lived next door but one, they used to send my cats pres Christmas presents from their cats. Uh, then there's this one. Uh, okay, we're almost sold out of these. Uh, obviously, there are the ones that are in the bundle. They're, they're safe to one side, but on their own, I've nearly sold out. Look at this one here. That's a little skinny house. Oh, you see, what it is, is the big house over on the other side was my house, and this is Hannah's house. In fact, in Twickenham, where I used to live in Twickenham, there was a house. They painted it bright yellow like that, and then they painted all flowers very much. Like, I wonder if they worked for Macau, actually. Painting flowers at the site, the neighbours went mad. Uh, and then we got flowers. Got gorgeous flowers. Then we got playmates. And then last one, last one, last one. I'm afraid I think the panel sold out. Right, if you've got any basket, please, please check out immediately. If you want it, check out immediately. If you're new to us, it's not yours until you check out. You can, you can check out more. You can check out more. Lots and lots. You could check out 12 times this hour if you wanted to. But there's more people got it in their baskets than we've got it. The, the ones for the bundle are put on one side, so don't worry if you're going to buy the bundle. Right. Uh, does Chris is there. I didn't throw it. Right. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Joe is coming on. Joe is coming on. Joe is coming on in a minute. I'm just looking where this is on. Yeah, I'll find it in a minute. Five ninety nine half a meter. This is Kitty Turquoise Cat. So I'm going to go very, very fast now. Love it. If you like that in the pink. Now remember, in these you can put multiple. So if you want more than one and a half meters, you can put it on the website. Now you don't need to ring up for it. Uh, look at this. This is cats in pink. No, I found, the, I found the blue one. I can't find the pink one. Where's the... 
the pink one might not be in the bundle. Anyway, it's gorgeous, isn't it? Then we've got, oh, look at this. If you love your pussy paw prints. That's a bit like the one from the Sahara, or no, Safari, wasn't it, that one? Anyway, that's paw prints in uh, turquoise, kitty paw prints in turquoise. Yeah, Joe will have to tell us her favourites in a minute. Um, oh, look at this. The panel sold out. The panel sold out. Oh, this one's limited. This one's limited. Gorgeous, isn't it? Oh, now, this is the one, next one. There, these are all 5.99 for half a metre, remember? One unit is half a metre if you buy them for the first time with us. Okay, now look, this is, remember I said the blue and the pink ones in the checkerboard, they've got cats in them, that's this. That's this, look. Isn't it lovely? Kitty turquoise on outline, not online, outline. <laughs> Can't even read these days. Oh, isn't it lovely? Even if you're not going to make the quilt, these fabrics are all by the half metre. I've got bundles for the actual quilt coming up in a minute, but these are still the fabric. Right, you love that, wait till you see the pink one. This is the pink. Oh, is it called pink though? Is it though? Is it though? Okay, this is the pink one. You just see what the next one's called then. Kitty pink outline, isn't that lovely? Do you know what, do you know what these be nice? You know that, that thing we sell, the kit that we you make with a the, with the coat hanger in it and you do all the pockets on it for an organizer in the, in the cat's bedroom? Now, what colour is this one, then? Nellie's got her own bedroom. Norman just sleeps wherever he wants, but Nellie is. Peach, this one's called. That's nice, isn't it? Peach. Looks more like crushed raspberry to me. Oh, oh, I've just seen the next one. I've just seen the next one. I will go through all these again, but I need to get Joe on to show us how to make this quilt. Um, look at this. They look like watermelon cats. Look. Oh, look. They're watermelon cats. Well, they look like they've got watermelons for tummies, don't they? So that one there is um, scatter cats on pink. I don't know if you can see it on the, uh, on the quilt. Oh. Then we've got, it's, there you go. Then we've got scatter cats on green. Yeah, it's like a tealy green. Nice, isn't it? Then we've got scatter cats on. Is it gold or ochre? Oh, oh I've got a new favourite. And look, look at this, look at this, look at this. Scatter cats on gold. Okay, now look at this one. I love this one. Look, it has got cats on it. It's cats in the garden. Look, look, look. Oh, we love that one. Kite, not kite, cat. No, not even cat. Kitty, white, floral. I'm getting over, I'm getting over excited. I'm getting, somebody wrote on Facebook about my, um, my pattern cutting out the other day. So he was out of breath at the end. He had so much to say. This is nice. Look, multi-chalk stripe, that one's called. Nothing to do with cats, but lovely as a blender. Binding, binding. Okay, now while Joe gets ready, I'm just gonna take you through the two bundles that I've got over here. Right, the only way you can now buy the panel is by buying this, which is the front of the quilt. Enough fabric to make the front of the quilt. One, two, three, four, five. So what's the, I need to know the um, breakdown then. Look, so you get in this kit here, there's obviously a Macau solid at the end there. You get, Kitty scatter on gold, you get a metre. Optical white, you get a metre. 
Okay, so those two at the end there are a meter. Okay, those two are a meter. Half meter, half meter of the linear a cameo. Half meter, half meter, half meter, half meter, half meter, half meter, half meter. That's for your binding there. You also get the panel and the two threads and, oh my word, very, very, very thorough instructions. 87 pounds and 99 pence to make the front of the quilt, but it is the only way you can now get that panel. Okay. Then the other bundle, oh, sorry. Okay, lots of people on the phone lines. Lots of people on the phone lines. Oh, God, to give customer service a bit of a chance. So let me take you through it then. So you get a meter of the scatter caps on golden. You get a meter of the optical white. Now, this is where I'm not going to remember the rest. You get half a meter of kitty paws on turquoise. Now, this is a linear. This is one of the replacement fabrics. That's a linear. I think it's cameo. Uh, is it cameo? Oh, peacock. Peacock. Then, look, you get that lovely outline, half a meter of the outline in turquoise, half a meter of the outline in pink, half a meter of the scatter cats on pink, half a meter of the pussy paw prints on gold, half a meter of the stripe, chalk stripe for your binding, half a meter of that gorgeous one, flowers, cats and flowers, and then half a meter of the first one I showed you. All of that, so it's six and a half meters plus, plus the panel. Uh, this is the only way now. Oh, where's the panel on there? The panel's not on that picture, is it? The only way, oh yeah, top left hand corner, yeah, sorry. The only way you can get that panel now is by buying the quilt bundle. All right. Uh, if you've got it in your basket, please check out. I know it's boring that I say it all the time, but it's only, it's only that way you can guarantee getting it then. Right, that quilt bundle does not have the whole collection because there's no peach outline in there. So if you're not so fussed about getting the quilt in the panel and you just want half a meter of the whole collection, then this one this is called a mega bundle. It's half a meter of everything. So you get half a meter of the cats on white, and they get the blue there. You get the stripe, you get that gorgeous floral one. Then you get the scatter in the golden, the pink, and the green. You get the paws in the gold and the blue. You get the outline in the peach, the blue, and the pink. So you get half a meter of all those, no panel. There's no panel in there. It's just half a meter of all the 12 different fabrics. Okay, it's lovely, isn't it? So this one here is half a meter of everything. You can buy, like I said, you can buy all the fabrics, buy the half meter increment that I showed you to begin with, 5 99 for half a meter. Or you can buy the kilt, not kilt, quilt bundle, two threads, all the fabric and the panel and the instructions. Oh, that's the, sorry, that's the mega bundle still in there. Quilt bundles going across the bottom, there you go. 87 pounds and 99 pence. Thank you. So the only way of getting your, um, the only way of getting the panel now is by going here. But half of those are in, half of those are in baskets already. Are you ready for me, Joe Carter? If you want. Can I just remind you as well that everybody, when you buy something, everybody gets one of these as a free gift. No, so there was the smell of burning that worried me more than my instructions. Um, you get this. Now, there's only one per customer. It's the little pin tin. Yours will be full of jelly beans, but every single one in this building, every single one in this building uh, has, has been emptied now, but you can use it to put your pins in afterwards. You, these will never be sold. They're just a first birthday little gift look. It's cute, isn't it? Okay. Can we talk about the quilt on the wall, please? Yes. Right, the difference, the difference in the bundle is, in the middle square here, we didn't buy this, we've got this fabric, because this is um, 
scatter on the pink. This is pours on the turquoise. But instead of this, we've put... Sorry, I'm just going to take that. Is that all right? Yep. We've got the little paw prints on... Oh, this is the one Joe's got in the middle. That is gold. I what, scatter cats on gold? Oh. Oh. Don't worry, don't worry, we'll find out, we'll find out. But anyway, there is a fab, because they're half metres of everything. Oh, no, because you get more of the scatter cats on gold. You get a metre of the scatter cats on gold, because for these for borders. These. So there, here's the scatter cats on gold, Hannah, there. All right? So, yeah, OK, that's fine. So this is the centre one. Don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. So that's the centre one there, the pores on, the pores on gold. And then... OK, and then that's what we're about to do now. And then the other um, thing is on the edge here. Shall I? Yes, you, you do. You do. There, you go. there you go. So on the edge here, we're using the, the gorgeous fabric that I love, the white fabric with the flowers on there as your scallops. So we've made the background the peacock teal. So your, yours, peacock teal, peacock linear, so your bits around the edge here will be peacock. These are still white in here, aren't they? Yes. Yeah. So it'll sort of give a frame, more of a feel of a frame around a fr the outside. Yes. OK, brilliant. We just didn't use, want to use white on white, that was all. So what we're going to do, so there's the bundle again. There's the bundle. The only way to get the um, panel is by buying the um, bundle now. And the instructions, obviously. Right, so we're going to show, in this hour, the centre panel... And talk about the scalloped edges, because you've obviously got those cut out. And, and the checkerboard. And the checkerboard. Section. Right, better get going then, because I've talked too much. Over to you. OK. This is the front, the centre block. Yep. It's really easy. It's quite detailed, the little squares in, but it goes together really simply. So I'll just lay these out so I've got it in the right order, I think would be <laughs> a good start. I'm just doing this. This is the last page of instructions, but it's nicer to look at, isn't it, than the um, writing. So, so, so it tells you on the instructions exactly what you've got to cut out. Yes, really um, well laid out cutting list. And I like to do all the cutting in one go, and then I've got it there. But before you start cutting, it's a really good idea to allocate the fabrics to make sure you've got them in the right also, order. also because in the in the bundle, right, you get a meter of the white, and you get a meter of the scatter cats on gold. But all the others, apart from obviously the panels in the middle, you could choose where anything where anything went really, couldn't you? Because you've got half a meter of all the other fabrics, so you can basically choose where you any could. of them want to go. So you could you can make your own version of that if you wanted to. Okay. So there are lots of pieces in this. Yes section I've cut out more than I need so I'll start with one so these go in the corners so it's always a good idea especially if it's quite a small block you can lay it out on yes. your table next don't to you. sneeze don't sneeze no it sort of also doesn't matter about the direction that you, any of those fabrics are going in does it because they're all multi-directional all those ones in there so, so you've got cats going in every single direction so yes if you were using one that actually had a direction maybe you'd need to think about because if you did, the... say you use the stripes in there, it's up to you the way that you cut it for the stripes, isn't it? Even though we've put the, the stripes as the border, it's quite nice. If you, I'd have stripes going in all sorts of directions. I wouldn't have them all going in the same direction, but some people might like them all. I, my first instinct is to have everything, it has a right way up and everything faces the right way. But I think I'm trying to break out of that a bit and just... Because I think it's nicer when they're scattered. Yeah, exactly. But with this, you don't have to worry exactly. about it at all. OK, so how do we start in even putting this together? Right, we're gonna, going to start and move these corners out. Right. We're going to do these sections first. So the, the rectangular pieces, I'm just going to seam those together. And you could chain piece these. You could do them all in one go. OK, over half the bundle front. Now, it's enough fabric to make the front of this. Right, half them, more than half of them have gone. Oh, and then across the bottom is the wadding. This is the wadding. Personal choice. I mean, the, our website is full of every different kind of wadding you can imagine. 
That's what we said. We're just suggesting that one, 27.99. Twin size. Oh, I need to. Have we got the fi finished size of the quilt? I'll get it on the instructions, yeah. Uh, 66 inch square it is, 66 inch square. Oh, what's that in centimetres? 168 by 168. Oh, it's written on here. Because <laughs> I knew somebody, I knew, I knew people who messaged you and said, how big is the finish? We'll just get rid of those because we don't need those. Right, so sorry, we'll go back to the sewing now. Oh, you chain piece in there as I well. I was doing a few, so I could press them all in one go. Ooh. Trying to pick the scissors up without... Did you see me doing chain piecing on Wednesday? Were you watching on Wednesday? I did. I was also sewing as well. So, but but I, did, we put, did I put you off? No. No, no. <laughs> no, no. So not, put you off, not put you off sewing for life. I meant, <laughs> did I put you off because all the squealing going on and everything and Lucy laughing all the way through it? <laughs> it was good. I, um, I think... So off should be a regular thing. So you can be in the next one then. <laughs> there, did you see? Yes, she yeah, said yes. Um, oh, I'm not making a mermaid. Oh. <laughs> yeah, if they team with you, I'll have to make one of yours. Hang on, it's the simplest thing you've ever made. I know, I could make the rock to go with the mermaid. <laughs> Perfect. So hang on, so you've sewn the two rectangles together and the, and the two, two squares and the two squares. And then I'll give these a press and then I'm going to sew those together and I'm going to press towards the pink I think. Okay, I've got the iron out. I've put the mini iron on so we Yes. It should be warm <laughs> enough. Now do what what? The mini iron's on. It's, oh it's the mini it should iron be is it? Warm enough now. Alright, I'll step out of the way. Oh let me oh the mini iron's one of my favourite things. It's on the website. Thirty nine ninety nine. It's my favourite the mini iron. It's because you don't like it's because you don't like moving, isn't it? I'm not much? a big fan of moving, no. no. And what's what? What did you say, Hannah? Yeah, Lucy, one of Lucy's favourite things is plastic pockets. We had that bag girl. She loves a plastic see-through pocket. <laughs> well, they're helpful. You can... Mm. There we go. Got a message from Christine. Hang on. Christ no, I've got... Oh, that's Rachel's. Oh, did Rachel come back to us about which wooden tool she meant? Oh, oh, it's on the website or in Joe's. It's a, it's a prim, it's a prim turny tool thing, and it turns rouleau things through. Um, that was in Joe's kit, and it also sells individually on the website for seven ninety five. I haven't got a message with Christine though. Joe, you've got one job, she says. So that hasn't come through. And, oh, and you, John. What's my one job? Well, I, I know what my one job Why am I saying now? <laughs> she, she says, John, you're so lovely and funny. <laughs> uh, thank you. Uh, who's that, Christine? She loves you, Joe, though. Thank you, Christine. Well, you know, I have to put up with a lot. I've been hit by a mermaid already this yeah. morning. <laughs> Not my fault. Was it the blue one? It was the blue one. That's the real one. The real one hit me, yeah. OK, so I've joined those together and now, because I've pressed each one towards the pink, those seams should nest nicely there. Lovely. And hopefully the points will match up. Like my points did on the Greek cross. Greek, was it called a Greek cross? Yeah. I used to go to Skopelos for all my holidays. When I was at, at worked in theatre, I loved it there. Do the other one on the other side. And this is this is it. Once they're sewn into sections, you can just join top strip, bottom strip, and the sides. So it is, it's really nice and straightforward. Yes. I'm just looking because it has like a step effect at the corners, doesn't it? Question so, Would it be a good quilt for a beginner? I think so, yes. And obviously, it's quite large, but. So the technique, yeah, because there's no half square triangles or anything like that in it, are there? There aren't. So all you've got is this one in the centre, which is all straight lines, rectangles and squares. Then you've got the panel section, which are all squares. Then you've got the, uh, yes, yeah, so if you work out, the only difficulty one I can see, is, is that drunkard's pathway? 
It like is. Like a drunkard's pathway, that one. Sewing curves, and a lot of people really are not keen on sewing curves. But once you get the hang of it, because there's quite a do, few. You could do half, if you don't want to do a curve, you could do half square triangles if you wanted you to. You couldn't have a, the bottom. a pointed sort yeah. of edge. Anyway, we'll get, we're going to get to scallops. We'll get to scallops, won't we? Well, I'll do, I won't finish this no. block completely. But I can finish this one for you if you like. Do you want to? No, because you'll need the machine to do. <laughs> So, uh, is that panel... Yeah, the panel's been chopped up and rearranged, hasn't it? Because the sashing between the... It's not a pliqued, is it? No. That's not a pliqued, is it? That's, um... No, this, these are sashed together. Yeah. So you could, you could put also... That means uh, put the centre square in here, but you could arrange those in any order you like sort of thing, couldn't you? You, you could. two houses at the top if you wanted to. I like the way this forms a sort of diamond as well in the centre. It's what? Oh, yes, yes. yes. Pretty, isn't it? Yeah. Anyway, right. keep saying. Okay. Can I give these a press again? Oh, yes, of course right. you can. Thank you. I'm always in the way, me. One job. Did you like our quilt of all about that old last staff? I was having me? a look at that before. It looks brilliant. Did you talk about the, 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 the quilt? Oh, there you go, the quilt on the wall. For those of you who don't know, a year ago, Everybody that worked here, that shows how few people actually work here. <laughs> no, I don't mean experts-wise, but everybody was asked to make a block. And so we all made a block, and that's the... Because we're a tiny, tiny team. That's the block that we all made. So there's one, Natasha. Across the top, there's Natasha, Bex, Hayley, um, Harriet, and then all, all the different departments. I'm not going to do the whole thing. Mine's the one made out of all my old shirts, which I would like... Mine's so insignificant that when, I, when, I, when they held it up, they went, oh, wait, mine's not on there, mine's not on there, there's mine. Look, it's all my old shirts. Paul Smith, there's Iggy Yeah. What were you going to say? That one's all hand-stitched. I know. That's, the, no, that's not Rebecca Reed. Rebecca Reed is the sewing quarter one. Oh, that one. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, who, that's hand-stitched that? as well. Yeah. All those hexies. Yeah, they do it for a living. Keep going. Do they? <laughs> well, Rebecca Reed's a sewer, isn't she? Like, is that hand stitched? Yeah. It's gorgeous, isn't, isn't it? it? Anyway, Hannah's is the llama one with no ears at the bottom. I love the llama. It's gorgeous, isn't it? Right. Okay, so make these sections. Yep. And then join the top one and the bottom one into a row. Yeah. Those go onto the sides of that square. So and you then make a fat a fat row for the middle, really. A fat row for the middle, yeah. and then just join them. And then that's like that. your whole centre block. And that's your centre block done. Looks bigger on the table than it does hanging on the wall, doesn't it? It does. OK. I hope I've cut it out. <laughs> it's all cut out to the right size. You get all the full instructions. John and Joe, oh, please stop selling and making such lovely things. My bank account is getting very low. Joe, you do such a great demo. Thank you from Laurie in Suffolk. Oh, thank you. It, She's such a diva, Laurie, in real life, I can't <laughs> tell you. Right. That's true. So should I leave that one sure, now? Sure, sure. Oh. Yeah, yeah, go, go, go on to scallops. We've got the idea of that one. OK, we? I'll go on to the scallops. Uh, as I say, if I had a machine, I'd finish that one off for you. But... I'll keep them all together and finish Just that one Just in case, yeah, we can do it afterwards. We've got nothing to do this afternoon. I think that one's my favourite with the little scatter cat. Well, the scatter's on pink. Yeah. There you go. The scatter on pink is Joe's favourite. The little polka dots as well. Uh, I'll get it out for the half meter. Uh, look, oh, I didn't notice the little polka dots. Are these polka dots or stars? I polka dots. So. Right, OK. I've got that by the half meter here. Remember, you can buy all these fabrics by the half meter as well, apart from the panel. The panel's sold out. There it is. Multi-directional. OK, so what we're going to show you now is the um, the... the sort of half circles round the outside. Now, obviously, on the quilt there, there's the white background with the blue and the pink. We haven't got this blue fabric here. We've used the white background one. So what we've done is we've changed the white fabric from the outside to the peacock linear print. Yes, yes, the same fabric. This is the same fabric, but the white variation, not the blue one. Um, and we'll pass it on to the... It should be. We'll, we'll, we'll get them to put it up. We'll get um, Hannah to put it up there. OK. OK. Not, yeah, not this, Hannah. In the instructions, it tells you to cut... I think it's a four-and-a-half-inch um, wide with the fabric strip and then subcut it into four-and-a-half-inch squares. Squares, right. So these ones 
and you have the templates in there. Is that in, that's in there, is it, the templates? Yes, in they're there. in the instructions. Yeah. So that should fit perfectly. Oh, yes, 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 yeah. And mark and cut so that you have, you cut out the quarter circle, the quarter circle shapes. Yeah. I have some ready cut out somewhere. Do you want me to I? rummage through you? <laughs> they're in here, there they are. I don't know. So I've cut some of these out. And I cut these out by hand, actually. I did them two at a time. By hand, as, oh, without? With scissors. Yeah. You could use a rotary cutter. Um, but you need to make a, oh, yeah. But I like to, something like this, I like to cut out by hand. But also, using a rotary cutter with, like, either a plastic or a paper template, you've got the, you yes, might you, wobble, might you? Yeah. Otherwise, you'll cut into the yeah. paper. OK, so you cut, you cut the, the, the quarter circles out of the two patterned fabrics. Yes, and then this, the peacock linear, is for these shapes. Yeah. So you do have, when you cut these out, you do have quite a bit of oh, yes. leftover fabric. Just pop that in. Well, they'll make in ears for another one of your animals, won't, won't they? they? I mean, they could possibly make a full animal. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> there we go. So I've got some of both sorts of qu quarter circles. OK. And then I've cut these out already. OK, now I've noticed... I'll wait till we get till we get. I'll wait till we get there. Go on. No, it's nothing you've done. On the main quilt here, it looks like all of them meet up to almost touch, apart from the north, south, east, and west. And there's a bigger sashing between those at the bottom. There is. There's a, a sort of thin yeah. sashing block there. But only in north, south, east, and west, not between all of them. Yes. Okay. So how do we make these then? Right. So I've cut these out. So move the templates. And it does look quite daunting fitting a curve, but yes. I like the way I like to do it is keep the curved edge on the bottom. They're both curved edges. They are, aren't they? <laughs> <laughs> you mean the convex on yeah, the, the bottom? Yeah, the convex curve on the, the bottom. The sticky out one on the bottom and the, the inny, gooey inny one on the top. And I'll start here and just sew a few stitches to get started. And then I'll bring this fabric and try not to stretch it because right. it is cut on the bias. Okay. But just bring it around the curve. But because it's cut on the bias, it does, it will come round to the curve. You have to clip it or anything like that then? Because sometimes when we go around a circle, you clip it first, don't you? But we don't on this one. No, I don't on this one. Some pe there are different techniques. Some people will even pop, pop some glue, like a sew line glue oh, pen, crikey. and glue yeah, it on yeah, yeah, already, yeah. or pin. Oh. But I think, especially do one for us, cut out we? a couple more couple of extras. Or cut practice. out ones out of an old bit of stash fabric or calico yes. or something you've got in the other room. And um, have a bit of a practice. Just quickly have a look at this one. So I'll just... So the needle's in. Oh. Start that off. Okay. And then lift the presser foot and I'm just going to bring this. And if you feel that the fabric is... There is a fold in it, it's wrinkling up, just stop sewing and lift the presser foot up and readjust. Yeah. And if you're really unsure, put the, if you've got a 680, put it on snail pace. Yes. Take it nice and slow. Should I move it down to snail? No, no, no. So you don't have to do it. I was just saying. Because, look, it goes really, really slowly. So you can really keep control of it. And it does stop. As soon as you take the foot off, you will stop. And also, if you put the needle, needle down facility button on as well, then yes. your needle will always finish down. Because you don't want the needle finishing halfway up, do you, on this? What colour is your nail varnish today? I thought it was paler than this. It looks much paler in the bottle. I think and it's called, it called My Grey. Which is my Grain? <laughs> no, My Grey, but it's not a very jazzy name. Like as in mine? Yes, uh, yeah. Oh, I thought it was more like Battleship. As in a grey, yeah. It's not the ritziest colour I've ever put on, I think it's fair to say. And now for me, this is the bit, bit. where it's most likely to slip get a little bit of a tuck or a fold okay. Let's bring that round you can always use your own quick and pick or something like that to hold that last bit in if you don't want to put your fingers quite so close to the needle and if there are any folds you can always just take out the stitches that are involved there aren't oh, okay but if, if there, there are, are just any. take out yeah. the stitches and just then over sew that bit yeah. just to redo okay 
But that's how I should that's do a couple of these, shouldn't I? So I've yes. got both. So hang on, that, that's that one done there. That's that one done there. But it looks wrong at the beginning. Yes. Would to you have them like that, but just secure it with a few stitches and then bring the fabric round. And would you spray these with um, best press before you did them or anything, or would you just go with them as they were? I would go with them as they were, just because the stretch work. I find the stretch works for me a little bit if it's oh, okay. put on the so bias. It's helping you rather than stabilising it. But it's worth having a sort of a test and see which is the preferred method. Oh. I've also just noticed as well that the, the corners have got three, haven't they? Not two. As in three quarters of a circle, not just a half a circle. I was just looking because they've done all their all theirs in the same direction. Well. Oh, yours would be if you went that way. No, they won't. No, that would just be two right-hand pieces. Oh, okay. So I'd need to switch in that one. There we go. Okay, brilliant. Oh, Rachel, you're welcome, my love. But once these are done, when you while you're sewing, while you're sewing that, don't come off the sewing. When you press something like the the, the circle going around, would you press it from the right side first? Because at the I, moment it looks like it's kind of lifting a little bit, doesn't it? Yes, I press it from the wrong side, and I press the cir the convex circle. This press one. Press the, the seams like to the conca concave. Does yeah. that does that make sense? I should have. Worked on my knowledge of curves before I. What, what? Okay. So I press them that way. Okay. I just find it easiest. But if you wanted, you could even pair up mismatch ones. Well, I, I was thinking that, so I was having a look at it. Yeah. <gasps> no. What, the bundles? There's less than 20 of the bundles left, I hate to tell you. Well, no. So if you've got them in your basket, please, please, please check out. What time is it? Oh. Got 15 minutes for it. I'll do the checkerboards in a minute. But it's not... The curves can be daunting, but it's not that difficult, and it's worth just giving it a go and... Oh, yeah. The thing is, you, like, it's like you say, one, when you do the first one, it's quite daunting, isn't it? But then after you've, do, after you've done your first one and you get used to them... There we go. But it's also worth giving them press once they're done and trim them. They press up size. beautifully, look. And I think that's also a testament to the quality of the fabric, isn't it, really? It is really nice fabric. So for me, it's just this bottom bit that can be a bit tricky. Yeah. There we go. You have to check that they're ironed well enough for you. No, <laughs> they look beautiful. This iron is brilliant, isn't it? Because you think of like a little iron like this, well, that won't be very powerful, it won't have much heat to it, but it's fantastic. You really get into the seam. Okay. Oh, hang on. Yeah. Susan. Hi, all. I was just thinking how much I really like the nail varnish colour when you mentioned it, John. Great. So, again, Susan in Moraysha. Moraysha. Scotland, I presume. Oh. <gasps> there we go. Okay. And then what do you do then? Just sew those two together? Sew them together. Yes. And then the join together. Last thing at the end. And then the three-quarter one at the corner. Do you literally just do it like that? Direction well, you'd way. sew one strip on with that on the. You'd sew like, oh, like we so did you the never block. Make, you never so make the a three short, quarter one. No, you never you'd do the short side. Yes, and of then course. Got it, got it, got ones. it. So when you make the short side, there'd be one of those left on its own at the end. Yes. It wouldn't be paired up until you stitch it onto there. Okay, brilliant. What do you want me to do next? I'm going to go and see the bundles. And then, do you want to do, do the... Is, is it the strips the next? Yeah, the checkerboard next. Okay. So let me quickly go and do the bundles. Oh, God! <laughs> bundle. This is the bundle for the whole of the front of the quilt. So it's the... Oh! <laughs> I'll start again. There we go, the kitty cat quilt kit. Six and a half metres plus the panel, plus the thread, plus the instructions. Less than 15 of those now. 
The only way you can get the panel is by buying it in there. Oh, oh, good, good, good. Yeah, they are, the um, uh, merchandising department are ringing Macau as we speak, trying to get more, but obviously it's not going to come in immediately as if we can get them. But for now, the only way you can buy the panel is in the kit. £87.95, you get six and a half metres, plus the instructions, plus the two threads, plus the panel for £87.95. It's for the front of the quilt only, obviously, and the binding, and the binding. Uh, or if you wanted to buy half a metre of each of the fabrics. Oh, so, oh, there's only four of these left. I do apologise for watching later, but you know what? It's fantastic, isn't it? Um, I only got four of these. This one is... There's no panel, there's no panel in here, just half a metre of each of the fabrics that we bought from the collection. 71 pounds and 49 pence. And also if you multiply this panel, they don't come joined up, not to each other, but if you bought two, you don't get a metre of each fabric, you get two half metres of each fabric. The only way you can get, a, um, so, you know, like a bigger piece is by ordering each fabric individually by the half metre. They do come joined together. Okay, very quickly, I'm gonna go into this. Yeah, Shmoy Mary made this cat, look. Not this one, this one. Look, that's from one of your kits, look. Wow. It's her, she did buy the unicorn and it went in the bin, but then she bought the cat, cut herself several times, then she realised her rotary cutter wasn't working properly, and then she eventually did it. She's now made a table runner as well. She's very happy. Well done, Shmoy Mary. Right, we've got this, this is obviously in a completely different fabric. We have got this cat shape in the two different bundles here. The blue one, as you can see, it's from this fabric. It's from the blue, the blue fabric. So you get half a metre, half a metre, uh, embroidery thread, thread, instructions, and the filling, 20 pounds and 99 pence. And I think there's enough in there to make two of the Joe, in the cat, in the cat bundle, yeah. We would have shown them earlier, but we don't have loads of these at all. Just be aware. And then the other one is the pink cats with the greeny gold um, paws, plus the thread, plus the embroidery thread, plus the instructions, plus the toy filling. And if you want to buy pellets, because you can either make it into a soft toy, like this one, right? Or you can make a little pouch and put them in the bottom there, make it into a doorstop. The pellets are available on the website. Und oh, underneath, 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 underneath. Right, okay, right. Now for the checkerboard bit. What time is it? All oh, right, okay, we're all right for a couple of minutes. The checkerboard. Yeah. On the cutting list, it will say to cut these strips out. I think they're two and three quarter inches by width of fabric. Yeah. And it says in capitals, I think, don't subcut because we do them in strips like this and then cut them up and add the pink. You do the pink. I can turn this out. You don't subcut at this point. We do at this point, but not once you've got the strips and they're not joined together. You don't cut them. They're, they're only subcut once they're once joined. Once they're joined together. So once like you've this. made a sandwich like that, then you cut subcut. Yes. Okay. And the blue one, it's sort of the bread in the sandwich. Oh, okay. The, the pink, pink one's one the filling. Is the filling. Or the other way around. But one or has the, to be yes. the filling and one has to be the bread, doesn't it? It does. As it were. We can tell we're hungry, can't you? <laughs> Is it nearly lunchtime? Um, Joining with the fabric strips like this, I'm not a huge user of pins, but I would do okay. always for this because even though it's not cut on the bias, it's so easily bananas and one ends up slightly longer. And then when, when you hold it up, it sort of twists. twists yeah. So I, as a non-pinner, I would always pin to do this. As a non-pinner. As a non-pinner. So I've joined one on already. So this yeah. is just the last one to make okay. this strip through. You can put your machine on a bit faster now. Then you don't need to yeah. on a snail now, do you? Right, I want to... Hair speed, no. Right, while Joe's sewing this, because it's just a straight line, you can watch her, you still watch her for a second. Just a straight line there. Uh, we do have the uh, machine that Joe's using, that she owns in real life, and Lucy owns in real life, and I'm going to get one. Uh, there's a special deal for today, Tony, but more than, well, three quarters of them have gone now. Three quarters of them have gone. Um, it's the Elna 680, which you pay £999 for anyway. Do you want to have a quick look at the still? Uh, but you get £58.97 worth of freebies with it, really. Or look at it that you're saving £58.97. Because um, you get the wadding, you get the K-Facet Bold Blooms, which is a hardback, big-size book, 
And then that fat quarter there, which is one of Kate's latest ones, all of that together comes to £58.97. We're giving you that all together. Now, remember, you only pay one PMP, even though you've bought a sewing machine, as well as everything else. The only thing you need to remember is that the sewing machine will arrive from Elna and all the rest. So don't, if the first parcel arrives, you think, well, that's a lovely fat quarter in a book. Where's my sewing machine? They come from two different places. Best program, I'm obsessed since I found it on Sky. Thank you. Oh, there's no name on that one, customer, but thank you very much indeed. That's very sweet of you. And I've got a weekend. I love this machine. I've got a weekend where I don't have too much work sewing. So I'm just, now I've discovered how to do buttonholes on this. I'm just going to put buttonholes on everything this weekend. It's the best thing. Is that, is that how exciting your weekend's going to be? Have you not Absolutely. got any family around then? Like yeah. your children and your husband. Well, I'll ask them, do they want buttonholes on anything? <laughs> <laughs> oh, now one of your boys will, won't he? I think one of your boys is quite, you know, I can imagine being very traditional and tweedy um, for some reason. One, he's only six, but he has three blazers. That's it? <laughs> How did I know that? How did I know that? Has he got a monocle? Hannity? Yeah, he has a monocle he... and a pocket watch. Oh, how brilliant. So, so I wonder where his past lives, I wonder where he's been in his past <laughs> lives, because he's brought something over with him, hasn't he? How, I, if, I believe in things like that, but you necessarily don't have to. Um, oh, how fantastic. He's desperate for a bowler hat. They don't really do them in children's sizes, Oh, I, I know where you can... How, um, can we say how old he is? He's six. Six. Um, I know where you can get, I know where you can get, but you'll have to save up. Oh, oh. Yes. I won't it's just him. opposite where um, Clarence's house is there. Ah. Uh, yeah. Anyway. So you've made, you've made your sandwich with this one, uh -huh. and then you'd obviously press it. Oh, we've, oh, no, we've got to get a move on. OK, and you press that, obviously. Now, which way do you press the seams? I've pressed the seams um, on both of these towards the print, so that when I cut these up and add these sections in, the seams will go in opposite directions, so they nest easy. Uh, because there's a lot of joins to make. You don't want yes. to worry about the points too much and they should just fit together nicely. Alison says, the postman's just been loads of goodies from Sound Quarter and then your message runs out because I, and then it runs out, I'm afraid. Oh, Alison, what are you going to do with it all? Right, OK, so now you do your subcutting, I presume. Should I do some subcutting? I have put... You've got a rotor cutter there, you've got a ruler there. You got... I use the small one. Just square off the end. So I think, I won't check. The instructions, I'm fairly confident it's two and three quarters. OK. There we go. I just want to see how they go together, that's all, to create... So you create, you create a whole panel of them, a whole strip of them to fit in there, because you've obviously got the square, different squares in the corner. Now, I've not pressed one of the seams on this one, so it won't be quite right. But as you subcut, as you go along, just make sure that the cut is... The cut you're making yeah. squares up with everything else. Alison said she's just received the lion. Oh, it's got... Oh, it's over there, from the other day. You keep cutting. Keep on cutting. This is what Alison's just got. That's one of Joe's from the other day. Gorgeous. Now, you could have bought it that one or the one in mandarin, couldn't you? OK. Do some blue ones. Yep. But the checkerboard, I mean, it's one of those things you look at it and think, oh, all those squares. Yes, but exactly. It's what I mean to the doctor. It's really quick. Well, relatively quick to do. All of the emails, all the emails about hoovers and what? Yeah, what was the other thing? Vacuum cleaners and what? Oh, no, I think he said cougar. I have mentioned a cougar this morning. Um, when are you back in? Because we're going to run out. So you keep cutting. When are you back in? Um, a week tomorrow, I think. Do you know what you're doing yet? I have an idea. Don't say. How long have we got? Oh, we're all right, we're all right, we're all right. Oh, OK. We have two minutes to finish this off. Then. So we're not going to sew it. So basically, is that right? Have I done that right? Oh, yeah. yes, yes, yeah. So you're basically making, you're cutting all of those up and then sewing them all back together to create a whole panel of the checkerboard. Yes. And because I've not pressed that one, no. but the seam should go in opposite directions. Uh, which should make joining them together nice and straightforward. To get you to get your square, your things. And then is there anything else to point out? So this one here, this whole centre panel here, is they've cut 
the sections out from the panel and then just put sashing strips between all of it. To create. But all the instructions are, are written in, in the instructions to tell you how to do that. So, so that's, not, that's not just the panel just put in the middle. Because we've had some quilts in the past where you just put the panel in the middle and then go round it. So that's a little quilt of its own in the middle there, isn't it? It is. These are cut out Ooh. with a ruler. You just add your quarter inch scant seam all the way around the prints. Brilliant. And then there's also that square at the top there in the corners. Is that just an, a straightforward nine patch? It is. It's, th this is a rectangle. They're two oh, solid okay. pieces. Oh, okay. And then this is just a three squares joined together for the okay, centre. Okay, we're just coming in there. Oh, okay. So it's, oh, so it's two rectangles. It's not nine squares then. It's a rectangle on the top. So it's another sandwich. Rectangle on the top, rectangle on the bottom. And then the middle has got three squares in it. Yeah. <gasps> Fantastic. Oh, dear me. So is there anything else we need to know about this? I think that's everything. I think we've covered. And then those are just those are just um, done like you'd not. Um, what's they called? The um, with the fabric strips, and then you join them together, and then cut them down to size. Okay, brilliant. These are the these are the instructions. The kitty cat quilt. You can always watch back the show either on, on YouTube or we've got we go into um, repeat mode on Sky from now until eight o'clock tomorrow morning. Um, all of the cutting instructions there. Your templates there. Right, okay, so now they put all the codes of the fabric here, right? When you get your, when you get your fabrics through the post, or each individual one will be in a bag with the code written on the outside of the bag. So make sure you keep a, a, a list, because there it tells you by the code of what the fabric is. So you can see which fabric they mean for each section, because each of fabric comes in a little plastic bag with a sticker, a little silver sticker on it, telling you which, uh, they don't have names, they just have numbers on them. Right, shall I do the menu very quickly? Menu for tomorrow, it's me tomorrow again. It's not you though, are you no, going home? Uh, Same quarter's birthday week coming up tomorrow. At uh, eight o'clock we've got Mandy Shaw's birthday kits. Now she, she's still in Japan, I think. She's on her way home from Japan. She's having a fantastic time there. Birthday kits at eight o'clock. Nine o'clock we've got Alice Caroline's Liberty Quilt. At 10 o'clock Mandy Shaw's back with more goodies. And then at 11 o'clock, more goodies from Alice Caroline. That'll be a lovely show tomorrow. Be quite crazy. Okay, we're being told that the panel can be reordered, but it takes uh, quite a while for it to come in. So, if, just be aware. If you, they will come in. They will come in. They will come in again. We will order reorder the panel again, but it won't be in for a while. Uh, how are doing on bundles? Should I go over? Oh no, I have time. The mega bundle is one of half a metre of all the fabrics, but no panels, only two of those left. And the quilt top bundle with the panel and the thread and the instructions, at once you've all checked out, single figures. Thank you so much. Thank I hope you. I didn't rush you too much today. Uh, thank you for watching. Remember, um, enter the competition all day long today. Go into the competition. At 11 o'clock tomorrow, I will announce the winner of today's competition. And also the weekly competition. If you spend over £30, you'll go into the weekly competition. You could win up to £700. And Hannah wants to say? Yes, we did. It was Maureen. Bye. We have a brilliant day of birthday celebrations this Saturday with both Mandy Shaw and Anna from Alice Caroline in the studio. Mandy starts the weekend with a selection of her amazing birthday and party kits, including birthday bunting and a birthday hanging heart, plus a gorgeous say it with flowers cushion and a king or queen for the day hanging kit. Then at 10 a.m., Mandy's back with her adorable Russian doll designs for both quilt and a cushion. Anna from Alice Caroline starts her show at 9 a.m. when she's creating a stunning tree of life quilt using fabulous Liberty fabrics. You'll love sewing this timeless design. Then Anna wraps up the morning show by creating a practical Alice Caroline tote bag and new log cabin cushion. So tune in for these birthday shows when John has plenty of laughs with Mandy and Anna from 8 a.m. on Saturday the 3rd of February, only on Sewing Quarter. Freeview Channel 78, Sky Channel 678.